YouTube, welcome to our very first part of our very first playthrough of Yakuza 0. I'm, this will be the first Yakuza game I've ever played, so um, recommendations were to start with Yakuza 0, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, it looks like fun. I mean, I've seen a lot of Yakuza stuff. I've been super interested in playing uh, this series for a while now, so I think this is a good jumping in point. Uh, again, we'll be playing all the way through uh, in parts. We stream um, Yakuza going to be every Friday for our, our Fantasy Friday block. So YouTube, you can expect these uploads every Saturday for the foreseeable future because I'm pretty sure this game is long. So we'll see how many parts it ends up being. But hopefully you guys enjoy the playthrough. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, new game. Oh... Standard difficulty, we, we never play hard here. I am too bad at video games. Um, but we can try normal. I wonder if you can like change it later. I think normal will be fine. Ah, uh, yes. Interesting start. Is this game fully in Japanese? You need to turn it up a bit here. See if that's a little better. We're gonna fuck this man up, it looks like. What we did to piss us off. Oh god. I don't think he's getting back up from that one. Oh damn, he's still going. Oh god, he's still going. Hmm. Wonder if you owed us money. Ooh. The redevelopment plan begins. See, December 9, 1988, Tokyo. I wonder, is this, can you use English uh, voice or no? I think if it's going to be in complete Japanese, maybe I'll just read the subtitles. Uh-oh. Hey, asshole, are you going to just walk away after plowing into us like that? I believe you owe me an apology. Get down on your knees, punk. Yoshio, don't. Not this guy. Huh? Oh, yeah, I want to fuck with him. Oh, well, uh... I think I turned into a wuss real quick, huh? Sorry to bother you, sir. So I'm assuming that he's Yakuza and they realize it or whatever. They're like, don't fuck with him, dude. 
Uh, TJ VIP, it's just like a little icon extra badge. It might have a, like some couple things, but it's mostly just like, I don't know, like a flare show off for a channel. Yeah. Lone Shark says, hey, how'd it go, huh? Kiryu says, it's done. Pardon the loose change. I didn't bring an envelope. Don't sweat it. Cash is cash. Spend just fine without an envelope. You dojima boys work fast. Sure makes my life easier. Anyway, here's your cut. 10% as promised. Thanks. Also, here's a little bonus for me. That isn't necessary. Most heavies take half these days. I've got you a working cut. Getting real physical? You're one doing me one favor here, trust me. Still, look around you. Other kids your age are waving 10G bills at cabs. Property Yakuza has got to keep up appearances. Consider it a gift to commemorate our first job together. Hi, hi, Phil. Here, take it. Thank you. We get your punch, Phil. There you go, bud. Welcome in, dude. Don't make a mistake and lend it to an idiot. 300 grand's a drop in the bucket, sure, but if I don't collect, it sends the wrong message, right? I guess so. Lend money in this town long enough, you'll learn a thing or two. The world these days, hardly anyone knows what money's worth anymore. You may not have book smarts, kid, but knowing the street will get you further in life than a fancy degree. Am I right? I really couldn't say. Will that be all then? Hey, why don't you come work for me, son? A man with your skills could really rake in the cash, and a lot easier than on Yakuza payroll. Every meal a feast, every night an orgy. And that's just the beginning. Money makes the world go round. It can even buy happiness if you spend it wisely. It takes a long time to make it as a Yakuza. But money's a good shortcut. Come work for me and you'll get places quicker. Three years ago, I might have taken up on that offer. But once you're Yakuza, there's no turning back. That's your answer then? I wonder if being a Yakuza can lead to a fulfilling life too. <laughs> Beats me. I've never been a Yakuza, I couldn't tell you. Well, call me if you change your mind. Yeah. See you around. So we beat the shit out of that guy for that loan chart guy, apparently. Gives his money back. What an asshole. Waste of my time. Hey, what up, Rolo? Welcome in. Rolo VT just redeemed daily punch. Thank you for the punch. Let me see your card real quick. Hope you're doing good. We're just starting Yakuza Zero. Nemo hey, Nemo! Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome in! Thank you! We're just starting Yakuza Zero here. Hope you had a nice raid. How are you doing today? <laughs> Thank you, yeah, nice to meet you too. Yeah, for those just joining in, I'm a... <laughs> I'm a Pomeranian femboy uh, on Twitch. I stream like variety games, let's plays, stuff like that. And today's our uh, part one of Yakuza 0 here. So yeah, we just, we just got into it a few minutes ago. I guess uh, this is my first Yakuza game, so I... I was told zero is probably where to start, but I think this one takes place like in the, a while ago. It's like the 80s, I think. 
Hence him using a pager there. But yeah. I'm gonna give you a quick shout out. I just wanna get through that intro there. Thank you again for the raid. Tactical Doll Fox VTuber, hell yeah. You just stream War Thunder, taking a break and do another game too? Oh, hell yeah, nice. Chapter 1, Bound by Oath. Alright, we're getting into it. Also do Ace Combat stuff? Oh, nice, that's cool. Ooh, airsoft content? Hell yeah, is that gonna be like actual like real life? Like you're gonna have like cam for the airsoft and stuff? That's wild. I don't think I've ever seen that. This is where Nishiki said he'd meet me. Guess I beat him here. 724106, huh? That's code for what you up to. I'm waiting for your slow ass to show up. They have a code for everything these days. Yeah, I gotta do cam, but not showing my face. Hell yeah, that's awesome. May as well have a look around and see if I can find him. Find Nishiki. Alright, we're into the game here. Yashan. Come on, hand over the money. I told you I'd pay you back when I can, didn't I? Oh, God. But you won't. Please, leave me alone. Quit your whining, nerd. Just fork over your wallet. Please. Somebody help me. Are we gonna help him? Running shakedowns on our turf? Somebody needs to set them straight before they try anything really stupid. Oh, yeah, let's fuck him up. You're buying a scar? Hell yeah. Hey, somebody's coming. What do you want? This ain't a show. Wait, are you sure he's not Yakuza? So what if he is? He's our age. If he's Yakuza, he's probably just an errand boy. You guys new in town? And what if we are? My family runs this part of Kamu Ro Damn, how do you fucking say that? Kamu Rocho. Kamu Rocho? Excuse you? Where's a piece of Yakuza trash golf lecturing us? Street hooligans. Oh shit. Hey, HD. Oh, you made that in a mo, HD? Hell yeah. Let's go. Press uh, mouse repeatedly to re perform a rush combo. Okay. Easy. <laughs> God, dude. <laughs> so this place like, like an old arcade beat him up. Come here, kid. Oh, fuck. Uh... Press right click during a left click combo attack to perform a finishing blow. Alright. Oh, damn. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, the yellow gauge on the top left indicates your health. The game will end if the yellow part is depleted, so keep an eye at all times. The gauge flashes red, it means you're in very bad shape. Should replenish health immediately. Alright. Recommend keyboard for this, or uh, controller rather. Press Q near an enemy to grab them. Yeah, I might switch to controller if I have too many issues with it. So far, I've managed to play like every game we've played with a fucking keyboard. But I'm just uh. Not very good with a controller. How do I grab it? Q? Oh, I see. 
<laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Do they have like infinite health? Do I just have to like kind of do that tutorially? Okay, yeah, I think so. Alright, train is complete. Yeah, now we just fight him. Uh oh. Yeah, they were like invincible. Here, kid. <laughs> Jesus. It kind of does have like a GTA vibe too, doesn't it? Get it wrecked. Ooh. Right in the back of the spine. Well, well. I see it's still all or nothing with you. Nishiki. You kept me waiting so long, I was beginning to think I've been stood up. Arakira Nishiki. The Dojima family. That's my line. You were so late I had to find a way to kill time. You're picking fights to kill time? Go get a massage. Be an adult for once and do something for your health. I'm not interested. Uptight, that's what you are. Whatever. Let's get the, to the drinking then. We're going all night tonight, right? Sure. Don't say thank you to me, kid. Let's go, Nishiki. Why is that kid thank you, B? We should have took his money too. Have you played some Yakuza games in Nemo? I take it. I'll admit though, you're finally starting to look the part. You make a pretty convincing Yakuza. You're done with collections for today, right? Yeah. Good. That should put Kazuma san's mind at ease a bit. Heh, <laughs> don't know about that. But he always knew all I could do is fight. You're the one who's good at the dance. Please. You see the times we're living in? You'd be crazy not to enjoy all this, bro. Learn to use your head a bit. Once the new year rolls around, Kazuma-san gets out of prison, I'll try to learn a few new tricks by then. Yeah? How about we start with those rags you're wearing? Huh? Talk shit about my fit, dude. Try sporting a suit that runs 500 grand for once. Trust me, you'll see the world in a whole new light. Fashion's not my thing. Besides, Cosmo Sans never wore fashion clothes. You do realize he's the family captain, right? Number two in the whole Dojima operation? You get to that level, you can wear whatever the hell you want. But the rest of us, Flashy is part of the business. So that fancy new car you bought was just business? Yeah, and that fancy lighter of mine too. But you still haven't given back. Don't play rich guy, quit being so stingy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? Okay, Nemo, thank you for the raid. Have a great night. People see the expensive car, the designer jacket, the gleam of the Dojima pin. They pay attention. A Yakuza is only as good as his image. If you say so. I do say so. Take your buddy today. Take squeaky clean idiots borrowing money just to blow on booze. Nobody in this town gives a crap about substance. What you see is what you get. Fine, I get it already. Are we going drinking tonight or are you just going to keep ranting? Hell yeah, we're drinking. What do you say we mix it up? Hit Pink Street tonight. You know, I know a nice little spot over there. The fuck is Pink Street? So I'm guessing, like, I'm a new Yakuza, and this dude's showing me, like, the ropes. 
Ah, you forgot. Ready to head out? Oh, I gotta follow him. Stick with me. Okay. Ooh. Fuck. I need a bump and you watch where you're walking, dude. Can I, like, walk? I can, like, only run. Bro, there's nothing worse than a game that makes you follow somebody whose speed does not match yours at all. Speaking of real quick, how does this... I'm assuming... I'm assuming... That... This is in Japanese. <laughs> and there's no way to change that. But I'm going to just look if there's an English option. It does not look like there is. We can try all these places out too. Some are great, some not so much. We gotta know which is which. Be boring, tuck all your money away if you want. But these are fast times we live in, bro. Spend it smart and you can double it overnight. Hi, hi, Kisa. Welcome, man. I hope you're having a good one. You want the next hot tip? You're gonna have to keep that antenna up. That's how you make it big in this city. Where did my boy go? There's too many people. He's just talking about girls. Where the fuck did he go? Oh, here he is. All this guy talks about is how I should be like a baller Yakuza. I just want to beat people up. Stream's going good, thanks. Yeah, you're still working? No worries, no worries. Thank you for lurking. Not much has happened yet. I beat someone up for collection money, and now this dude just won't stop lecturing me about how I should fucking live fast and die young. This game is quickly seeming like a game that like takes a minute to pick up. Hold up, man. Why don't you walk faster, dog? It is a race. It's taking forever. I'm gonna fall asleep. What is this? A fight? Looks like it. Your friend is addicted to the mini games on this game? Hell yeah. Yeah, I can't wait till it opens up. There does look like there's a ton of fun stuff you can do. Come on, you're in the way. What's, what's your problem, bro? I guess this guy's pretty drunk. You, you got a problem? We're in the middle of some important business. Hey, old man, quit talking to those, them. We're not done here. Who's an old man, you snot-nosed little punk? Who's a snot? Whatever you said. <laughs> Fucking, what the hell, dude? Just two drunk idiots in the middle of the road. Now nah, you've done it. Phil says that's the reason I bought the new Yakuza, so I can play arcade releases in this game. Legit haven't beaten it for that reason. Oh, really? There's like an arcade you can play in? That's awesome. Yeah, come on, Grandpa. Take your best shot. Screw it, they're completely wasted. It's not worth the trouble. Let's take a different road. No need. I've got a faster way to fix this. Oh? Yeah. I just need to sober him up a bit. With my fist. Dude, this guy's itching to beat ass everywhere he goes. This will be the third fight tonight. Again? I can't tell if you're a sadist or a charity worker. Yeah, let's just clank both their heads together and be done with this. What are you blabbing about? Stay out of this. Yeah, butt out, you butts. Alright. No one calls me a butts. You're getting your fucking face bashed in now. Uh, the three blue glowing bars on the top left are called a heat gauge. The heat gauge starts at one bar and fills up as your attacks hit enemies. Each level, uh, your speed increases. Some moves require a certain level of heat. 
Once the heat gauge shifts to second or third bar, we begin to glow. This is called heat mode, and it signals that you can use special heat actions. Try using heat actions while sobering up the drunkards. Um, let's see. Grab with Q, and then press right. Was that headbutt a heat action? Oh, I see. Oh, God! Yeah, he's sobered up, all right. Come here, just need to sober you up, my friend. Ow. Come here. Quick sober. <laughs> Chat, you know getting fucking punched in the nose two times and then headbutt is the, the proper cure for a hangover? Your training is now complete. That concludes the explanation of heat. Um, if you take a fighting stance with spacebar and move with W, it'll center around the enemy in front. Oh, that's like lock on. Okay, that's actually really good to know. <laughs> oh god. He's like a fucking pinata. Come here, friend. Oh shit. Come here. I use heat mode on you. Dude, they're literally like cash pinatas. Hell yeah. That was a solid headbutt. You guys sober yet? Huh? What? Where am I? What was I doing here? And who are you? Sounds like they sobered him up. Must be your delicate touch. I remember watching music videos at that bar. Then we got to talking about which idols we like. Yeah, then some smartass started making fun of poor, sweet Shoko-chan, and then my head's throbbing. I can't remember past that. I think you two have had enough for tonight. Go home. Yeah. So they got in a fight over their favorite favorite idol. Mr. Hero, I'll walk you to the train. Take it slow. Oof, thanks. You're awful considerate for a kid your age. <laughs> yeah, that's part of the reason I don't like being drunk. People act so dumb. Let's hit that bar. Yeah. The completion list. Completing certain challenges will earn you CP completion points. You can view them in the pause menu under completion list. Some things... That will probably happen on their own as you play the game, but others require more a deliberate effort. Visit temples or shrine to access CP exchange menu where you can spend CP to earn special blessings, ranging from being able to sprint for longer distances to earning more cash from fights. They're a big help. Yeah. Take a look. So that's like, I'm guessing like a form of XP. Oh god, there's so many. Fucking 99 for business? Total of 130. Or a hundred, or sorry, wow, three hundred and seventy-four. Also, we're sitting on a ton of cash. We got almost five hundred thousand yen right now. What a waste! A damn shame, I say. Another person trying to start a fight. You got a punch like a two-ton gorilla, and you go wasting it on drunks. What do you think that talent was meant for? All that raw fighting prowess. Look. I just helped a couple of guys work out some alcohol, that's all. Yeah. yeah, that's the point. That's the problem. You wanna talk alcohol? You're like taking one swig of vintage bottle and tossing the rest. Hmm. Going from the look of you, you're Japanese mafia, yeah? Uh. Something like that. Yeah. yeah, seems like you're pretty confident to fight. A real dynamite boy. Phil says, I'd let him help me work off alcohol. All right, Phil. Mm -hmm. He's kind of good looking. Call me boy. <laughs> Aha. Don't get ruffled now, kid. Compared to me, you're practically a toddler. Yeah, I mean, how old are we in this point of the story, I wonder? Oh. Probably like 18. Hey, Kiryu, what's the hold up, man? It's nothing. Be right there. No sense in wasting time on this drunk. I should just go. Too much booze is bad for you, Gramps. Take care. Hey, hey now. Hold up. Wait. I got one piece of advice for you. And I've got a friend waiting for me. If you got something to say, make it quick. What? Oh ho, out for the night with your main dog? Me and the boys used to really wreck it back when I was your age. But if you spend all your money playing around, you'll never get stronger. You gotta invest in yourself. What, like a gym membership? No. Nah, nah. 
That's no better than spending it on booze. I'm talking about investing in yourself. Literally. Literally? What does that even mean? Glad you asked, my boy. Here's a special lecture just for you. Holy shit. What's going on here? Oh. It's like a skill tree. Upgrades are now available. Oh, the skill tree uses money? That's interesting. Nicky had just redeemed daily punch. Yo, Nikki, welcome in. Let me get your punch for you real quick. There you go. Oh, Kisa, your punch too? Alright, hold out your Marquise card real quick. We'll get your punch. Redeemed daily punch. There we go. Alright. Get your punches in here. People are starting to get close to 20 punches. That's a free spin. Let's see here. Damn, shit costs up to 400,000? That's a fucking million? What do I have now? Phoenix Spirit. Your heat gauge will slowly rise over time. It's 30,000. Alright, let's... Do we already have this? Oops. Back. Brawler. Wait, do we get different, like, jobs? Is that what that was? Like, this is Brawler. I wonder if we unlock more stuff. So these are boosts. These are moves. This is... Red looks like heat gauge. Heat retention time. Hmm. Boost health large. Extra quick step distance. Stability. So you can... There's like a heat tree... Uh, a move tree and like a stat tree, it looks like. We got a new game, Nikki? Hell yeah, good stuff. Oh yeah, Kisa, I don't know, I guess maybe I haven't explained it, but um, the channel point redeem for uh, 10,000 or whatever, the spin that everyone gets to do, um, if you get 20 punches, it's like a free spin. So that's kind of like a reward for people who can't like uh, like necessarily stay all stream and save up a lot of channel points. If they just want to like stop in and say hi and support the stream and do a punch, they can save up uh save up for a spin that way as well. So just like a fun way to use channel points to uh, reward people for like hanging out in the stream and lurking, even if they can't like you know be here all day. Um, I don't know if we need to do any of this right now. I don't even know if we really have the money. Well, I guess this one's pretty cheap. Heat gauge will slowly rise over time. I think that's good. What's this one? Yeah, and then we can't afford, like, really anything else. Alright. Well, that's cool. I like that. I think this is a neat idea. I'm interested now. This makes me think there's more classes to unlock. Other than just a brawler. You keep more pouring money into yourself, and with a little training, that talent of yours will grow in no time. So keep the women and wine on budget here. Huh. Investing in myself. Literally. Never thought of that. It doesn't really make sense from, like, a real-life standpoint. Was he eating the yen? Uh, I bet you're glad you stopped and listened now, eh? Yeah, I guess I am. Yo, you. I'm coming. All that serious talk killed my buzz. Time for round two. Have a good night, my boy. Bro, the characters in this game are so bizarre. What a weird old man. What's his deal? Ready to head out? You were just standing there the whole time? Out the way, dude. You take too long. Out the way. I don't even know where we're going, but I'm leading. Looks like this is like the city strip. I wonder if this is Pink Street he was talking about. <laughs> Just throwing up in the gutter, hell yeah. What a, what a vibe. Stay classy, I guess we know him. Ha. Huh. Isn't that part of the draw? This town's a perfect fit for newly minted rich playboys, this economy churned out. They come in thirsty for booze and women, and when Kamurocho's got and Kamurocho's got them both in spades, 
But when did you start waxing you poetic? Not that you're wrong. You impressed? Oh jeez, who are these two? Two young ladies. Who are they? Heh. <laughs> College girls slash hostesses. Madoka chan and Yui chan. What? I've been ringing your pager, but you never call me back. When are you coming back to the club? Tonight. I'll drop by in a bit. You promise? What? You don't trust me? Well, I want to. Ah, don't be like that. Here, buy yourself something nice. God, we just give him money. Yay! I trust you with my life. That's me, chat. You two have got this down. Thanks. We'll see you later. Don't keep us waiting. Chat, maybe I'm in the wrong business. See how much money they just got? <laughs> Kisa. Yeah, the pager thing, I think they said this is taking place in 1988, so. Because I think Yakuza 0 is like a prequel. I'll let you know on something. The guys hire up the chain than us in the family, not very popular with the ladies. One look and everyone with eyes can tell they're Yakuza, and not the fun kind. Yeah, so? So, if you show up with a pack of girls every time the bosses invite you drinking, they'll remember you. Half the time, they give me cash on the spot. If you're in this business, you gotta claw your way up the ladder using any means possible, right? Yeah, maybe you've got a point. Alright, so this is the place. Hope you're ready, because I'm not stopping till morning. So I think they're trying to show the difference between, like, this main character, who seems, like, more old school, even though he's young, too, and this other character who's, like, a young, like, more, like, hip kind of person. Uh, I'm guessing because it's a prequel, we're trying to, like, oh define Kiryu's backstory of, like, kind of being a stick in the mud. You've got a personal bottle here. Thought maybe you were a regular. Looks a lot cooler than sitting around ordering beers, doesn't it? Helps the staff remember you, too. But mostly, I just can't stand being taken for a bum. Heh, <laughs> makes sense. You're too big, important man with big, important image up for Yo, hey, hey, Seer, welcome in. Let me get your punch. There you go. There's a lot, a lot of dialogue in this so far chat that doesn't really seem uh i don't know super important to the story just like a lot of chatting i entered this life chasing after kazuma san you and i were just a couple of orphans and he took us in i'd do anything to repay him but all i can give is my life okay so they're both orphans and they were adopted by the yakuza clan basically yeah you know, maybe you're fine just who you are. You keep pulling your weight under Kazuma-san, maybe he'll bring you up with him. He makes it really big, that's his legit approach to mine. Just remember, you're technically not one of Kazuma-san's boys. You're in the Dojima family. Why do you figure the old man didn't take us on as Cosmo family men? Sure, the Dojima family's higher up the pecking order, but still. Doesn't matter. I'm sure he had his reasons. Yeah, you're probably right. So the guy who adopted them is in a different clan than they ended up in, it sounds like. He like put them somewhere else, under a different family. Anyway, that's enough serious talk. Let's get crazy on some karaoke. Come on. Heh. <laughs> yeah, okay. I did sign up for anything tonight. Oh my god, we're just gonna get right into karaoke here? Alright. 
Karaoke is a rhythm game where you press buttons shown on the screen in time with a song. Simply press the indicated buttons when the cursor reaches it. You know, I was under the impression this game didn't take itself too seriously, so it's been taking itself a little too seriously, so this is a nice break. I was, I'm ready for this right now. Make sure to press the correct buttons at the right time. The better your timing, the more points you will get. If your timing is really off, it will not count. When someone else sings, you can support them with interjections. You can use either a simple or lively interjection. Simple interjections offer easier inputs, but you won't get more than 90 points. For a chance to score more, try lively interjections. Um, let's see. So it's basically the arrow keys here. The fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess let's give it a try. Judgment. What the fuck am I, did I get myself into? Oh god. <laughs> Yo, base. I do really like rhythm games, chat. Yeah. Oops, I fucked that one up. Oh, I gotta hold. Alright, we're gonna hang it. We're gonna hang of it. What an intro to a game of all time. <laughs> Did he just get a bandana? How long is this? Tarka Welcome in, I can't see I'm singing karaoke off. right now. Oh, Tarka, hi, hi, Tarka. Oh my god. What a game of all time this is. What's my score? 91, alright, we'll take it. Thank you for the punch, Tarka. Let me see your card real quick. There we go. Welcome in. Oh my god. You know, we only fucked up a couple times. We got Karaoke King. So... Does this game just keep like have that kind of like silly back and forth? I never knew you took karaoke so seriously. Hey, you're the one who said to get crazy. I was just trying to humor you. Sure. And you loved every minute of it. Friendly underscore anarchist just redeemed daily. You sneak off and practice on the sly. You so do. Come on, quit busting my balls. Oh yeah, I saw that Kisa, the the entertain yourself ten times objective. Hell yeah. Hi hi anarchist, welcome in. Let me get your punch real quick. There you go. You're hungry again? I'm still full, man. Geneva Convention, daily checklist, same thing. I mean, yeah, I guess they're close, anarchists, you know. Yo, these two sure like to just chat. Let's go. Where are we going now? How's it pay attention? Follow him, dude. I'm not following him. He's too slow. We're going our own way. I decide where we go. Ooh. 
I'm guessing the mini map is like highlighted building here. Dude, yeah, following that guy is not happening. Oh, damn, we stayed up till 7 in the morning? Holy shit. Hey, come on, you barely touched that. I told you I wasn't hungry. So you buy me extra large like an ass. I quit whining. You know, what's out? At 11 p.m. last night, the body of a young male was found severely beaten in a quiet corner of Kamurocho. I think that's the guy beat up. Police are investigating the case as a homicide. We have a breaking update. Authorities have released the victim's identity. The deceased was a resident of Tokyo. Taichi, age 32. Police say he carried debts from several loan companies. Questioning will begin with these leads. Do you look? Hmm? A murder. It's hardly the first. Oh, does he not admit to the fact that he did it? No, wait. Your job last night. You said you roughed him up pretty bad, right? Oh, did I not kill him? Is someone trying to frame me? That's the place. Wait, are you serious? It's not like I beat the guy to death, though. Yeah, so it looks like someone killed him after I left. Probably tried to frame me. It's him. Please, no more. Hold up, you're sure that's him? Yeah. The fuck were you thinking? This is a collection shop. Who is it, HQ? Yeah, they're already calling me in. Damn, I wonder who would want to frame me, chat. Alright, Haruka, I will hydrate. Thank you. I'm gonna call in. You think it's gonna be about what they were saying on the news, right? This is bad. You're obviously screwed. But this also paints a giant target on Kazuma-san's back. What? They're gonna use this to bring him down. How you figure? Everybody in the Dojima family knows it was Kazuma-san who brought us in. That means our scrub becomes his responsibility too. Hi, Spazzy. Welcome, man. Hope you're having a good night. Here's your punch. What? But this was my mistake. He had nothing to do with it. That's not how it works. Murder is a big deal. Everybody with an eye on his position is going to come at this with everything they've got. The three Dojima lieutenants, for starters? Shit. Rumor has it, it was one of them that sold Kazuma-san out. The cops got him pinched six months back. Wait, what? The gambling hall he was running never stayed in the same place, but they suddenly get hit with a raid? The only way that happens is if someone with family info tips them off. And the way I hear it told, it was one of the lieutenants that talked. Kuze. You really think Kuze sold Kazuma-san out to the cops? Well, it's not like I've got hard proof, but you know how Kuze's been on a power trip ever since the old man got locked up? And where there's smoke? Either way, I've got no choice but to call them back, right? Yeah. I guess not. Alright, you go. I'll see if I can get some advice. Thanks. So it sounds like they probably framed me to get at this boss of mine or whatever. 
<laughs> Anarchist is giving free uppies for Femboy Friday, chat. I've got to call a Dojima Family HQ. There should be a payphone around here. Alright, before we call the HQ, you know, it's finally, we're finally getting some story, I guess. You know, we've been doing like a whole lot of nothing. It's been like tutorials and karaoke so far. But I guess the person we roughed up at the beginning of the game, someone killed. And they're framing us, potentially to get at our boss in the Yakuza, because of Yakuza family drama. So, you know, I'm guessing, you know, that's probably par for the course for this game. Uh, I'm more in this game, I think, for the silly stuff. Karaoke was cool. But, um, we'll see where it goes. Like I said, it's my very first Yakuza, so I have no idea how this, how the hell this is gonna play out yet. But, we got our first three-minute ad of the night coming up, so... Uh, so no one misses anything, I'm going to go on a quick break, and then we will continue the story when I get back. So, go get something to drink, stretch if you need to, and, uh, yeah, I will be back in three minutes. See you soon, guys. And I'm back. Alright. Let's see where the story goes with this. Find a payphone. So we literally, like, stayed up all fucking night, too, huh? Oh, wait. I must find a payphone immediately. I think I'm wanted for murder. I probably shouldn't tell people that. Probably better call the family office. Thank you, Harka. This is Kiryu. Did somebody page me? Thank you, Kisa. Ah, uh, yes. Lieutenant Kuze told me he wanted you to come down to the office right away, Kiryu-san. Well, that's suspicious. He's a traitor guy. Actually, the three lieutenants are here waiting for you. Okay. Got it. I love how... Uh, I like how the main character is so chill, dude, all the time. Like, he doesn't get worked up at all. Well, I guess I better take the taxi back to Dojima Family Headquarters. Go to Dojima Family HQ. You know, I'm glad giant words pop up on the screen and tell me what to do. Oh, the payphone, I think, was like a save station? Is that how that works? Ooh. Yeah, like, is this like a save? You can save the game and use item box of payphones. Okay. Is that it? We're saved? Alright. Okay, so the pink is where we go. So I wonder what, like, these, a couple of these buildings here, like, this one's purple. What the hell does that mean? And this building here is yellow or white? And this building here is orange. So they don't seem to do anything. Maybe later that lets you know it's, like, a place you can actually go. Is this my taxi? Oh, yeah, get in. The taxi fare starts at 470 yen. Where would you like to go? I need to get to Dojima Family HQ. Take me to the Dojima Family Headquarters. Very well, sir. I don't like taxi drivers know where the Yakuza headquarters are. Hey, Blueberry. Welcome, man. How are you doing tonight? Hope you're having a good one. Oh, and thank you for the punch. Hey, let me get your card punched here real quick. Blueberry 607 just redeemed daily punch. Alright. There you go. You're all punched. Today's concert? What concert are you going to? Alright, time to get yelled at for something I didn't do. Let me guess, the idiot in purple is the guy trying to take over. 
So these are the leaders, huh? Finally, kept us waiting long enough. We're interrupting important business, eh, Kiryu? Oh, that's the guy. I'm sorry for the delay, sir. You have the lieutenants of the Dojima family all lined up, taking time out to see you. I assume you know why? So this is, uh, Kijay? This has to do with the body they found in Kamurocho, doesn't it? So that was you. So much for getting some golf in today. Eh, yeah, Kuze. And this is uh, Hiroki Awano. I'm not going to remember any of these fucking names, chat. We got a call from that loan shark you were collecting for. The loan shark? President of Toko Credit. Oh, is he mad I didn't take his offer? You whacked that guy he asked you to handle, right? Of course, he was pretty emphatic. It wasn't his idea. Blueberry 607 I expect he was surprised as anyone that a pro would screw up this badly over a measly, measly 300 grand. Thank you for the bit, Blueberry. He's a bottom-feeding leech, but I can sympathize. Well, none of that really matters. Whatever your reasons, the issue now is how to make it right for murdering a civilian. I didn't actually do it, though. No, wait a minute. Please, I didn't. Quit your damn whimpering. Just relax, kid. He may have been a civilian, but that guy was debt-riddled scum. Seven, eight years of eating for the government's shit food, and you'll be out. Not you had to go to prison? Just redeems daily punch. That should square this away. Murder business with the cops. That leaves the bigger problem. How we draw attention away from the venue. Thank you, Oko, for the punch. I hope you're doing good. Here's your punch. You really fucked us with this kid. Oh, where? How far is that of a drive for you, Blueberry? You're, you're playing Geometry Dash again, Oku? Hell yeah. Don't be a dumb shit. The place you dumped the body? Come on, Kiryu. Of all the places in town to kill a guy, why do it there, huh? This wouldn't happen to be a case of Captain Kazuma pulling the strings, would it? Five hour drive? Nice. Not bad. What strings? And what's Kazuma-san got to do with any of this? Just answer the goddamn question. Why'd you pick that lot? You tell me it wasn't the captain's orders, eh? So where'd you get a piece? Did he give you that too? Oh, he was shot? Yeah, we definitely didn't shoot him. Peas? What are you talking about? I don't have a gun. In this deep and still playing dumb. The body they found was beat to hell, but it was a bullet to the face that ended him. The police haven't made that public yet, but it's fact. Really? Are you sure about that? And it wasn't me that killed him. I roughed him up with my bare hands and that's all. That's the truth. If that's true, it would mean somebody set you up here. Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. No matter what happened there, I didn't shoot him. So says the accused. And what say we all? I think it's a load of shit and you're trying to worm your way out of this. Who the fuck bothers to frame a nobody like you? Listen, Kiryu. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why stir up trouble there of all places? I don't even know where the body was found. That's what the loan shark told me to do. He said he'd call the mark there so I could teach him a lesson and collect the cash. That's the whole truth? Yes, sir. 
Then it sounds like we need to ask this loan shark a few questions. Still, it doesn't change the fact that our boy was involved in the killing. And in that lot, on top of it all, this is going to have repercussions on that other project. So they must have something going on in that lot for Yakuza business, so that's why it's bad the cops are sniffing around. It's only one possible answer. So I don't think it was them who set him up. I think it was someone else. Oh my god, I've never left America in my life, Blueberry. I didn't know Geometry Dash had different levels, Okru. Yeah, I mean, I have been all over America. I mean, like, to get to where I've been in America would be like a 30-plus hour drive, right? You have to fly everywhere around here. The look on your face says you're totally lost. Yes, sir. That place they found your dead guy in? It's a complicated spot. The empty lot, they call it. You rank and file kids probably don't know. But the boss gave a direct order to the three of us Dojima lieutenants. He wants that empty lot by any means necessary. An empty lot. That pleasure district's packed so tight you couldn't fit a pin through it. Save one hole. The boss wants that land. And when the boss says he wants something, it's our job to make sure he gets it. But now that patch has become a murder scene, that kind of attention makes it a lot harder for us to move in on the land. You see our problem now, yeah? What's that got to do with Cosmos-san? There's one other thing about that lot. Whoever delivers it to Dojima gets one hell of a prize for his trouble. Prize? Yeah, Cosmos seat, now that he's gone. Next captain of the Dojima family. So that little scrap of land is a lot more than just an empty lot to us lieutenants. At first I figured this was Cosmo using you to try to make life harder for us. But judging by the look on your face, I get the feeling you had no idea. Hold on a minute though. You're fighting for Cosmos on seat? Where does that leave him? Beats me. But he's not much of a captain if he's in prison now, when the family really needs him. Not to mention the sweet little kid he raised when he knocked off a civilian. There's protocols for that. He had nothing to do with that. And besides, I didn't kill the guy. Oh, hell yeah, Kisa, nice. Tell it to the cops, kid. Not that they're gonna make time to hear Yakuza out. Turn yourself in by the end of the day and... Leave your little finger behind. You're Yakuza. When you say your goodbyes to the boss, you gotta do it right. What the fuck? I didn't even kill this dude. They want me to turn myself into prison and cut my finger off? What the fuck is going on here? All right, they're setting up a lot of plot here. Do I finally get to play the game? But yeah, chat, exciting stuff uh, 
Kisa's gonna work on some new emotes for us, I think, right? I have a couple more ideas for some more animated emotes. Twitch gives you an insane amount of animated emotes now. It's wild. You get, like, as many animated emotes as, like, regular emotes. So I have some, like, fun ideas. Kisa, obviously, chat, if you don't know, the the author of the awesome Ponglet emote... <laughs> And does a bunch of other cool art. The famous street painting of Pomlet Kisa did. Very famous. It sold for a million dollars, chat. Hey. Oh no, what's going on now? Hey, it's that guy I met in the alley. Look at the old guy from last yeah. night. Finally, I've been searching for hours. Hmm? For me? Ugh, Eureka Booze. You're wasted. This whole town's one big bar. It was made for drinking. So these guys have been still drinking from the night before? Holy shit. Yeah, well, glad someone's having a good morning. You got the face more sour than a lemon, boy. What's wrong? I can't promise much, but I'm happy to lend an ear. Got a lot going on right now. Well, anyways, I had a favor I wanted to ask you. You mentioned you were looking for me? Actually, wait. Sorry, but I don't have time for any of this. Thanks, I just need to talk to a couple guys. They'll be here real soon. They'll also be real angry. Oh, you're not even listening. Why should I take care of your problems? That's a great question. Ask them. They're real eager to talk to you, too. Oh, the website for registration's on? Yo, that sucks. <laughs> Very, yeah, I don't know how that works. I mean, they gotta let you in if the website's down, right? That's on them. Oh, hey, speak of the devil. Here they are now. I right, Gramps. Is this the kid? Yeah, my prized pupil. I'm sorry, pupil? The million yen loan I gave these two deadbeats is way past due. I need it back. I ain't waiting much longer. Why tell me about it? Wait, you don't expect me to pay, do you? That tip I gave you the other day is worth at least that, no? Besides, the debts of the master are the debts of the, you know, you. Like hell they are. And since when are you my master, anyway? I don't really give a shit who you are. Just give me my money before the big gentleman behind me gets impatient. Bruno here? He's got a short fuse. Especially for stubborn types. Uh, for your own sake, I'd pay up before I get hurt. Hmm. Hey boy, what now? You think you could take big Bruno there in a fight? Couldn't say for sure. Doesn't really matter either way, because you're not going to drag me into your problems. Oh, so you think he'd beat you? I didn't say that. At least trying to reverse psychology me. Look, if you're trying to bait me, it's not going to work. It's your debt. You handle it. Yeah, that's a letdown. Can't have you getting spooked over a chump like him. He's a bargain bin muscle. Diamond dozen. Bottom of the bracket. Bracket? What are you even talking about? Hey, what's with all the whispering, boys? Are you paying, or does this get ugly? I told you, this has nothing to do with me. Okay, alright. I'll pay you the money. Wise choice. I feel terrible. Just terrible for all the hats I caused. Tell you what, why don't we make it two million? You gonna pay me double? You gonna buy that? You're drunk off your ass, old man. Oh, I've got the money. Be happy to give it to you, even. On one condition. Yeah, what's that? You have your tank back there, fight us for it. If he beats all three of us, the two million's yours. We win, we don't owe you a thing. Shit, you're not drunk, you're crazy. Bruno's famous around here for busting heads. All three of you could rush him at the same time and he'd snap you like twigs. Nah, nah. Fight's gonna be one-on-one. -on -one. Rules and all. Three against one wouldn't be fair. Ha. You wanna take him? Solo? Well, hell. If you don't mind me taking your money off your corpse, I'm game. You got yourself a deal. Well, that's just lovely. Tell you right now, I'm not bailing you out. If you don't want to get hurt, I'd start apologizing now. No. Okay, I'll go first then. Boy. Are you even listening? Are you sure you want to do this? It'll be fine. Just a little workout. You just focus on keeping an eye on the action, boy. Watch Kamoji's moves. Seriously? And fight! So is this guy like a martial arts master guy or something? That he's like trains me the whole time? 
Oh damn, look at those dodges. God damn. Alright. That's rad. <laughs> Harko wanted me to hydrate. Got you. You think that's the case, but common sense is not present for such things? Yeah. I wonder how long it'll be down. Is there any way to know? Huffoo, I'm tired. Gotta remember to eat before I do this stuff. Kamoji, what it? Kamoji, was it? What were those moves just now? Actually, forget it. Are you okay? You shouldn't push yourself like that. Ah, he's fine. I told you, didn't I? Big guy didn't land a single punch on him. Hey, you in the coat. Homeless dude. Bruno's barely got a scratch on him. You gonna try to finish the job with those weak-ass punches? Ah, no. Komoji kun you sit this one out. I'm calling the round as your manager. Let the kid take it from here. You know what to do, don't you, boy? Heh. <laughs> yeah, alright. I meant it when I said I wanted to bail you out, but watching him just put me in the mood for a quick round. Hell yeah. It says on the website you can register five days after driving there, but I don't know about that. It sounds like a bait. I don't know. That'd probably be fine. I mean, if it's going to be down, you probably don't have much of a choice anyways, right? Right then. On to round two with two million yen murder parade. Bruno, take him. All right, so my guess is I'm learning combo tutorial here or some shit. Whatever that guy just did, or maybe dodging. You can switch a rust style by pressing two okay one of the advantages of rush style is you can evade with a series of quick steps by pressing e repeatedly you can combo up three of them together use this to avoid enemy attacks okay oh interesting <laughs> oh there we go he stunned them Stun. So I'm guessing rush mode is like another one of like the categories we can upgrade. So the purple instead of blue here. Oh damn, there's like a three, $350 fine if you don't register. Jesus, okay, that's a little crazy. What just happened? Bruno barely got a punch in. Who's who the hell are you? Name's Kiryu. Dojima family. Which family are you guys with? Well, wait. You're a proper Yakuza? Or, sorry, sir. I didn't know. We just work for Toko Credit. Oh, he's like, works that loan shark guy from the beginning. Well, there's a coincidence. I have business with your boss. Need to meet with him as soon as possible. You know where he is right now? The president? I figured he'd be at the office at this hour. I see. That's a building in Taihei Boulevard East, right? I'll pay him a visit then. And that takes care of our little debt of ours, right? Yeah, fine. A deal's a deal. Bruno here will have to cover the difference. That's how our kind of debt collection works. Woo. It's a tough world, I tell you. Well, I better get moving. Come on, Bruno. Pick it up. Hey, tell me something. Oh? Just who are you? Why approach me? What are you after? Yeah. Me? Yes, well, people here call me Bacchus. And I came to you because I had an angry thug on my butt. Yeah, nice of you to dump him on me. Look, if you're in some trouble, tell me. Maybe I can help. And that goes for him, too. Those weren't the moves of an amateur. What's his deal? A, rear, a real steal of a deal. Is what it is. He's got a gig sweeter than honey. Real fascinating to watch. You should go have a look too, boy. At his job? But he's homeless, right? What kind of work does he do? He's a, what you call it? A fisting artist. Whoa. That's not really my scene. Aww. That ain't it. 
It's Punch Out Artist. Chat, any fisting artists in the chat? I'm asking for a friend. Yeah, yeah that. A Punch Out Artist. Yo, chat, we're, we're, I'm something of a Punch Out Artist myself. Get it? Alright, I'll see myself out. Alright, so what's a punch-out artist? A customer pays a fee, then they get to throw as many punches at me as they like. I don't think I follow. This is some new S&M thing? Nah, nothing like that. Come on by and watch. If you got questions, I work- It's kind of like being a cuck, it sounds like, honestly. Just plenty to teach you about fighting, my boy. You'll kick yourself if you don't check it out. Alright, I get the picture. The Shichi parking lot, right? I'll swing by if I can find the time. It's Kiryu-san from the Dojima family, right? I'll be waiting. See you soon. $20 an hour for fisting. Alright. That seems relatively reasonable. There's a volunteer option for spanks from anarchists, but not not choking or pissing. All right, I'm glad you draw the line somewhere. You know, everyone needs that boundaries chat. That's important. In the world, what does that even mean? Are you still trying to recruit me into pro fighting or whatever it was? That's exactly what it was. Yeah, potential most men can't even dream about. That world champ title could be yours. Sorry, I'm not some starry-eyed kid who fall for that line. If you're looking to scout somebody, keep looking. I'll tell you one thing, boy. You keep living street fight to street fight, you'll wind up with a knife between your ribs. In some dark alley, that's no way to go out. Oh, I'm sorry. Spanks and choking are good, but fisting is where you draw the line. Alright, well, so we've shifted the goalposts a little bit there. Got it. Got it, got it. Uh, this guy just wants me to be like a martial artist or something. All right. I'm done talking. You get out of here. You're boring me. You bore me. Be gone. All right. So we got to go see the president to fucking... He probably framed us. The dialogue in this game, it gets a little heavy. Oh, I can actually go in places now. Hello, welcome to Yoruntaki. This way, please. Please take a link at our drink menu first. Oh, it's like an alcohol store. What do we want? A new long tea? Ooh, the classic oolong. Let's do this one. Alright, I'll take a classic oolong, please. Yeah. What will you be having to eat? Uh, yo, give me the Japanese chicken skewer. Please? Why can't I order this? Why can't I order that? Why can't I order it? Oh, I have to hit E on it. I'm way too full for this. What the fuck? Apparently I can't eat anything. I can only have the drink. I hope you enjoyed your meal, sir. We're looking forward to your next visit. What a random ass like this. <laughs> Bro, it's going to take me so long to understand what the fuck is going on in this game. There's just some random building. I just had a fucking drink. I have a feeling this is so easy to get sidetracked in this game. Can I go in here? Oh, fuck. Delinquents. Alright, fuck you. I don't got time for your shit. Come on. Come on, boy. We'll get a bunch of them. Come here. Get wrecked. Come here, nerd. Are you a filmer I'm fighting? I don't even know. I'm about to beat your ass anyway. Get back here. <laughs> Yo, fighting in this game is kind of fun. Oh god, what chat? What's chat talking about here? 
Are you a soft or rough kind of person? What are we on about, chat? You guys are fucking crazy today. I guess it is Femboy Friday. Um, where? I guess let's go to a phone booth and save real quick. The old phone booth. Save. Uh, I guess we can save over this. It's fine. What is this place? This place that looks cool. I still don't understand what the fucking building colors on the map mean. Like, why is this building purple? Sega High Tech Land, dude. I want to go. Why are there delinquents everywhere I go? Can't walk two feet in this fucking place without some goddamn delinquents. Who's still up? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm sorry, honest. Is it the same delinquents every time? I just keep running the same guys. Alright, let's figure out where the hell we gotta go. Pink dot right here. Someone tells me this isn't the right place. Here we go. Coco Credit. This is the Lone Shark's office. I don't know what they're up to. Better get prepared. Uh, how do I get ready? Can I get like weapons and shit? I don't know jack shit about this game. Uh, purple building doesn't do shit. I guess we just gotta go. Maybe they mean, like, spend your XP or whatever. Alright, because I have rush mode now. Everything's super expensive. I can buy one. Increases the power of irregular attacks. Immediately recover and perform an attack after being knocked to the ground. Boost my maximum health. Increases power of irregular attacks. I think more power is better, right? I think that's, that makes sense to me. Master. Yeah, let's just keep powering it up. I like rush mode better because it's faster. Alright, let's go in. Let's go see what the fuck they're doing. Let's go see what the hell's going on in this place. Let's see why the hell he framed me for murder like an asshole. Oh, jeez. I knew I was coming, huh? Looks like you've been expecting me. I'm Kazuma Kiryu of the Dojima family. I just dropped by to thank the president for trying to frame me. The president has no interest in speaking with you, Kiryu-san. Well, I guess I'll have to change his mind by beating you guys half to death. You alone against all of us? Yeah, I'm pretty close to blowing a fuse at this point, so clear a pass, you punk-ass trash. TJ, that is a negative number on an ethical scale. I'm gonna strongly suggest not doing that. <laughs> Hey, 
Hell yeah. I like rush mode way more. I love how fast this goes. Boom. I'll take the elevator. Oh god! Who's gonna get up here, huh? Shit. Bro, I gotta hold space bar. Don't encourage him, Blueberry. Oh god, they got me. Damn it, they hit me in the back. I'm getting a decent bit amount of money here. No way, how'd you make it here? It's just you and me now, Mr. President. Now we can talk about any interruptions. Talk? About what? Don't waste my time playing the fool. Why'd you set me up? What are you after? Hey, stay where you are. Fine, I'll tell you everything. Just calm down a minute, okay? I mean, yeah, shoot me. I'm going to prison anyways. What do I get fucked? I don't know anything about any setup. I just did what I was told. He said I should have you collect the cash there in that back lot. So there's someone above him. And who was it that told you that? It... It was, uh... Oh, it was Kuze. No way. It was you? What's that? What are we talking about, Mr. President? No, no idea. Kiryu, okay, what are you doing, huh? Pretty sure I told you to turn yourself in. And instead you're over here doing dumb shit? Damn, I knew I was getting soft. Back in the day, one punch was enough to straighten out little shits like you. Mr. President, think I could get a little privacy? Gotta give my boy here a little lecture. Take as long as you need. <laughs> he looks like he's in a shit's pants. Here. Is he gonna give me a cigarette before he hits me again? That's the good stuff. Wait, just drug me? I don't understand. What do you mean it's good stuff? I'm glad we have this opportunity. I wanted to have a chat with you. No bullshit. You and Nishiki. You're orphans, right? Grew up in Kazuma's joint? Sunflower Orphanage, wasn't it? There's no shame in being an orphan. It's rare when a Yakuza comes from a normal family. Still. That Cosmo's a cruel son of a bitch. What do you mean by that? He takes in these kids, then he owes them for life. Or owns them for life. He's got you and that boy Nikishi acting like human shields for him. 
You'd be willing to give your life for him, wouldn't you? That's some brainwashing kind of shit right there. And the point is, sir, I'm not seeing where you're going with all this. Kiryu, I want you to spy on Kazuma for me. What? I told you about the empty lot, right? I get that land, and I'm the next captain. Next in line to lead the Dojima family. Blueberry but there's one piece of information I need in order to get it. And Cosmos sitting on under it. Attack. Unit lost. Commander. Oh shit, our buildings are under attack, chat. Information? Yeah, and I want you to get it out of him. I doubt he'd ever suspect you. Pull this off, and I'll personally guarantee your future in the family. We gotta have someone else take a fall for that murder. The Tojo clan's 25,000 men deep, and the Dojima family is one of the major players in it. Making the upper ranks here is no small accomplishment. As a bonus, I'll give you the guy who actually murdered your man. So it was you who set me up. Maybe, maybe not. But you can be damn sure you're serving time if you don't if you turn this offer down. Join me or go down with Cosmos ship. Choice is yours. But I want your answer right now, right here. And we don't have much of a choice. Lieutenant Kuze? Yeah? You think you're smart enough to control the board, but you're too clumsy to hold the pieces. Oh, damn! What? You don't know a thing about me, and you sure as hell don't know Kazuma-san. Cocky little shit. You're gonna make an enemy of me? You think you're ready for what that entails? I'm ready. If I weren't, I'd have no business calling myself a Yakuza. What a badass. Alright, so we've at least confirmed a few things. We know we were framed. We know the guy's out there. So we just gotta go find him. I wonder if we asked Nishiki for help. That's not a number I recognize. Who is it? It's not his number, but that's got to be Nishiki calling. I'll find a phone and call him back. Alright, yeah, we're definitely probably going to need Nishiki's help for this shit. I still don't really understand how I know if a building's a place I can go. Is everything just food places? Welcome, can I help you? So this is just a beef bowl shop. Please come again. Let's see here. Ten thousand yen vending machine. It's a dream machine. Insert ten thousand yen to make your dreams come true. Maybe. Yeah, sure. Why not? Fuck it. Make my dreams come true. You pay ten thousand yen. Top grade bait. Challenge buy from dream machine five times. I don't know what top bait is, but. I only know of one kind of bait, chat. Alright, let's call Nishiki and see what's going on here. It's just turning like a murder mystery game. Hey, Kiryu? It's Nishiki. Yeah. I figured it was you trying to get a hold of me. 
Where are you? The Cosmo family office on Tenkaichi Street. Cosmo's office? What are you doing there? I'm talking with Kashiwagi-san right now. I thought he might be able to give us some advice. He's Kazuma-san's right hand, after all. Makes sense. How'd it go on your side? You left the Dojima office, right? Yeah, but there were some complications. Complications? I'll tell you when I see you. Okay. I'll stay here with Kashiwagi for now. So get here quick. I think you need to hear what Kashiwagi-san has to say. Have you heard about the empty lot? Kuze told me about it just now. I guess nothing gets past Kashiwagi-san. I'll be there in a bit. Alright, now we gotta go to our uh, the Kazuma office. fuck is that down here? Oh, I guess I should probably save with the faithful while I'm here. Uh, save. Okay. Alright, let's head to the office. Are dogs allowed in planes? Uh, yeah. We just gotta stay in the back in the kennel. I've flown in a plane before. Don't. What's this? Why is this one lit yellow? I don't think I can interact with it. Well, I guess I can. So this is is convenience store. It's a magazine rack. Maybe take a look. Which magazine do you want to read? Oh my god! They really put a lot of work into this game. There's like eighty thousand fucking magazines here. Shonen King. <laughs> Interesting. It's dark in there, isn't it? Yes, very dark. Uh -huh. There's like tank controls through this. This is insane. What is the point of this? Hi, ma'am. Hello. Um, what's in my inventory? I don't know what those, like, gears are I have. Is this, like, heels, I'm guessing? So this is, like, the equivalent of an item shop. Have a nice day. So, yeah, not much here. Parker, you want me to hydrate? Okay, let me have some of my coffee. I'm almost out of coffee. I'm going to have to switch the water here soon. So I'm guessing then the light yellow buildings are item shops and the kind of orange buildings on the map are food shops? That's what I'm gathering anyways. This place looks nice. Is he slurping up food or doing cocaine? I can't tell. Yo, Kiryu. You made good time. That sounds like he's doing cocaine. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kashiwagi-san. I never wanted to make trouble for you like this. Oh, no, nope, he's slurping up fucking food. That was just a misdirect. Uh, sir? No, I don't know what you just said. I'm sorry? Glad you're okay. Nishiki filled me in on up to the point where they called you into HQ. Osamu Kashiwagi. 
No, I've got a pretty good guess what happened after that, too. Did Kuze approach you, ask you to sell out Kazuma? Yeah, he did. Wait, what's going on? The man who Kiryu allegedly killed in the empty lot was shot to death, of course. I don't need to tell you that he wouldn't do that. Which means somebody framed him. Holy shit, that's a relief. You couldn't have told me that sooner, sir? This whole time I was thinking my brother actually offed a guy. Nishiki. This isn't good, Kiryu. Tell me everything Ka Kuze said from the beginning. Well, you see, this asshole wanted me to join him. I see. So the three lieutenants are all jockeying for Kazuma's place while he's out of the picture in prison. That's crazy. Nobody but Kazuma-san could hack it as a Dojima captain. Calm down, Nishiki. Back to the empty lot Kuze mentioned. You boys are only just hearing about it, right? Yes, sir. Kashiwagi-san, do you know more about it? Yeah, there's a big redevelopment project in the works involving a chunk of Kamu Rosho. Dojima had these three racing against each other to clear out all the tenants. I did hear about that. They've been buying up land and buildings owned by a bunch of different people to bundle it all together to resell it for major profit, right? Right. But amidst all that, there is one tiny patch of land that nobody can get their hands on. And that's the empty lot? Yeah. The only They only recently figured it out, though. They bought up to 80% of the neighborhood before they found it. And it's sitting at the dead center of the redevelopment area. If they can't get that plot, there's no way they can sell any of what they've already bought. That's a hell of a snag. And you say nobody's managed to make a move on that lot yet? The owner's gone missing. If they turned up now, the price I've heard being thrown around is one billion. A billion? A billion yen for that tiny lot? Sure. That tiny lot could sink the whole redevelopment project, and Dojima's already sunk 10 billion plus into buying up the area. They can't go back now, even if it means coughing up a billion yen for a potion stamp. Kazu said that Kazuma-san had a key piece of info they needed in order to get the land. What is it Kazuma knows? I couldn't say. That's the first I've heard of it. But you figure it's got to have something to do with the missing owner, right? Well, whatever it is, Kuze set up Kiryu to force him to get that information out of Kazuma. Right, at the cost of somebody's life. You two realize the situation we're in, right? Kiryu's in the crosshairs here, but so is Kazuma. They made Kiryu out to have murdered a civilian, and they can demand accountability from Kazuma. And that's only the beginning. Watch Kuze get the empty lot and become Dojima's captain. They'll drive Kazuma out of the family entirely. Drive him out? No way. You really think they could get him expelled? They'd find a way. And with Kazuma in prison now, he can't stop them. Kazuma-san expelled. And I'm sure I don't have to tell you what happens to Yakuza after they've been cut loose. Getting kicked to the curb after having climbed all the way to the top? Most men don't survive that humiliation. Ex-Yakuza is a common phrase in the obituaries for homeless suicides. But Kiryu didn't actually kill anybody. If we can prove he's innocent, they can't use that to get Kazuma booted. The only way to prove that is to catch the guy who did it. Right, but whoever it is, he's in Kuze's pocket, and we can't make a move against a Dojima lieutenant. Pick a fight with the brass in our world, and you're finished. But if we don't do something, Kiryu will get thrown in jail. If we act, it hurts Kazuma's standing even more. One wrong move from us, and they'll have their reason to expel him. So what do we do then? Kashiwagi-san. Hmm? My innocence and the empty lot can both wait. What matters most to me right now is protecting Kazuma-san, and that's what I'm going to do. Do you have a plan? Yes, sir. I let this happen, I'll take responsibility for it alone. 
There's only one way to keep this from coming back around to Kazuma-san. I wonder what the plan is here. Take responsibility alone? Just what are you planning, Kiryu? I... I'll leave the Dojima family, effective today. Terminate my oath and retire from the Akaza. Kiryu, are you serious? I'm taking care of this one myself. Once I'm out, I'll pr put pressure on Kuze and get him to hand over the killer. Are you insane? I think they'll. You think they'll let a Yakuza of only three years deep in his oath leave? Worst case, they kill you, man. Hurts to say it, but Kuze is holding the Dojima family's reins right now. And you think you can just turn him down and then walk away alive? I'm not going to ask Kuze. I'm going straight to Dojima. Besides, we don't know they'll kill me for sure. Get your car, Nishiki. I'm going to the family headquarters. Like hell you are. You're just je desperate. This is nuts. Shut up. There's no other way. I'm not going to sit here and let them do this. That's enough, Kiryu. Nishiki is right. I don't care who's right. I'm just a punk kid who only became a Yakuza to follow Kazuma. If I screw up, is going to bring him down? I'm ready to do what I have to. You even comprehend how serious this is, huh? Are you too big to do what you're told now? Is that it, Kiryu? Yes, sir. Even if Kazuma himself tried to stop me, I'd go. You. Idiot! Damn, that was a good punch. Please forgive me, Kashiwagi-san. Nishiki, get the car. I'm guessing this is like the only way. They're just pissed because they assume he's going to get killed. Thank you for all you've done for me, sir. Damn, that's deep. All right. It's a good place to start the ad break, chat. It's about to run, so I'm going to go a quick BRB, and then we will follow up with uh, what the hell is going to happen next in this game. So give me a quick three minutes, uh, go stretch, uh, get something to drink if you need to, use the restroom, and I will be right back. All right, see you in a few. Okay, I'm back. All right. So, so far in the game, um, it's kind of playing out like a little drama. We, we started the game roughing a dude up in an alley for some loan shark guy. And then we go drinking with our boy all night. And in the morning, we see on the news that the guy I roughed up was murdered. And someone's trying to frame me for his murder. And it seems like I, I work for a boss. And a guy who wants my boss's spot framed me for the murder to get at my boss. And it all centers around... Um, some piece of property they want. Uh, they have, like, a big lot of property they're buying up. And to profit off it, they need this, like, last parcel. And they can't get it. So there's, like, some drama around that. And, um... And, yeah, that seems to be gen generally what's happening right now in the story, I guess. <laughs> From what I can understand. Um, we're, we're trying to leave the Yakuza right now because part of them framing me is, like, gonna hurt our boss and we want to leave so our boss isn't, like, as responsible, I guess, is the line of thinking there. So, we're gonna go see what that's all about. 
It sounds like we're gonna try to jump skip over the people we're working for directly to like the head of the Yakuza and try to maybe like, I don't know, talk some sense into him with the situation. We'll see if he even lets us talk to him. I feel like in situations like that, typically speaking, like a low level guy doesn't even get an audience. Bro, just because you say you went out doesn't mean Kuze's just gonna let you. Who knows what's gonna happen there? Just be ready. Yeah, let's go. I am. Let's go. Alright. Get in. Yo, cars in the 80s look like Matchbox cars, chat. What year did we start making cars like Kirby? Oh shit, flashback. Sunflower Orphanage. Okay, so allegedly we grew up in an orphanage led by our mafia boss. Why not? Why can't we, Kazuma? It's our lives, our futures. We can decide. I owe you everything, but this isn't about that. And don't play the saint. You're Yakuza yourself. Considering that, you have no right to tell us we can't be Yakuza. You've got no right! We've looked up to you for all this time. Your car, your confidence, the way everyone bows to you. We idolized you. I want that life too. Is that so wrong? Is that too much? Do orphans not get to dream? It's so dramatic. <laughs> Chad, do orphans not get to dream? What you thinking about? Hot dog cards, says Phil. Nothing, just spacing out. Thinking about hot dog cards. Well, I was just thinking. It's about time Kazuma-san beat the snot out of us. Then the next day, we were Yakuza. And if I know you, I'm guessing you're thinking about the same thing. Figures. It's scary how good you are at that, bro. I'm actually a telepath. I just like fucking with you. Oh damn, look at this fancy little building. Am I gonna have to kick my way in again? <laughs> I, I zoom. I've seen this place a million times, but it never looked as scary as it does now. Evening, gents. Is the boss, is Dojima in today? Yes, sir. He's inside. It'll be just me from here. Sir, please give the boss a message. Tell him Kazuma Kiryu is here to end his oath. Oh, goddamn. Kiryu-san. Wait, seriously? Yeah. Thanks, Nishiki, and sorry. You head on back. You're really going through with this, Kiryu? I have to talk with the boss. It's not like I'm a dead man just yet. I'll try to finesse it like you would. Shit. Now you really got me nervous, you fool. See you later, bruh. See you later, bruh.
All right, let's see how this goes now. Why the fuck is he here? Whisper, whisper. So the traitor's in my way, huh? So, you want out of the family. That's why you're here, Kiryu? Yes, sir. I came to ask the boss to expel me. Please let me through to see him. Yeah, that's a shame. Saturdays at 8 is bad timing. His favorite show's on TV. If you got something to tell him, you'll have to tell me instead. The hell? It's not how things work in the Yakuza, dumbass. I'm not here to talk to you. Where's the boss? I'm the one handling things right now. And you think that kind of tone is going to fly with me, Junior? Will you stop hitting me? We've already established you throw girl punches. No pinky, no cash. You seriously think you can come in here and just ask to be let go? So I guess usually you pay your way out or you offer your pinky? Is what it's sounding like? The accused is not some after school club you can just quit when you're tired of it, you little shit. Come on, use your head here, Kiryu. It's not too late to put this all behind us. Pump Captain Kazuma for that info on the empty lot. That's the only way you come out of this alive. May I please see the boss now? I came here to get expelled. That's right, my character's like a stubborn ass, isn't he? That's a no then? Heh. <laughs> Alright. Then we're done here. I've got no use left for you. You had the chance to climb the ranks as one of my boys. If you'd have taken that, you wouldn't have to die now. Hey, Yoneda. Yes, sir. Figure out how we erase this trash. It's not fancy, but a live burial up in the mountain is probably easiest. We're going to melt them down with chemicals and just dump them in the river. No, leave a body. It's better if he's found. Down the line, sends a message that Dojima's big on discipline. Tojo HQ will appreciate that. God damn. Really? Huh? You're just gonna kill a family member? Without the boss's permission? Are you high, kid? The boss has got nothing to do with this now. You just left the family. Yeah. Yeah, I did. That's what I was waiting to hear. What? Oh, hell yeah. If I'm not in the family anymore, I can kick some ass. You fucker. The fuck are you doing? He outranks you. Outranks me? I'm a civilian now. You just said it yourself. You're free to come at me if you want. But I'm not going to pull any punches. 
Lieutenant Kuze. I'll kill this little shit. He's yours. Do whatever you like. Hold it. I'm not done talking to you. I'm done with you. Besides, you're dying here. Look, you make it up and see me alive, and I'll hear what you have to say. Fine. I'll be right there. Alright, we only gotta beat the shit out of, like, what, a dozen people? That seems fine. I'm up for the challenge. You ready, bitch? Who you calling bitch, bitch? Let's go! I imagine that's how you would say that. Doja me family. Alright. Alright, we just gotta beat the shit out of all these guys. No, no problem. Easy, easy, easy. Easy peasy. Oh, fuck. Alright, we're getting our ass kicked already a little bit. We're in a bit of a corner situation here. Let's try, let's try to get out of the corner we're in. Right, let's fight this way. Ow. Come here. I wish I could jump. Jumping would be great. Ah! Stop taking me. Come here. Come here, you little scoring bitch. God damn, dude. <laughs> uh, do I have enough for a power attack? How do I do that again? Q? Fuck. Come here. Come here. Q. Q. Oh, I guess Q doesn't work in this mode. <laughs> I'm just doing like high kicks. <laughs> Oh, fuck that chair in particular. Come here, bitch. Yeah, fuck you. You next. Alright, next you. Alright, pick him while he's down, you know. Oh, shit! Fuck that guy. <laughs> oh, shit, more of them. Can I just come in here? You think you can just come in here? Nah, you can't. I'm gonna give you permission to be in this room. Oh, well, that guy's got a bat. What the fuck? Can I pick this bat up? Damn, why can't I use a bat? Yo, I made like two million dollars beating the shell of these guys. Is that it? Anyone else want a piece of me? Huh? Huh? Okay, I gotta go this way. Oh, fuck! Get out of here, you bitch! <laughs> nice try. Oh, he's still alive. Ah, don't kick me. Yeah, get stomped. Bruh. Ow, ow. It's one way to open the door, chat. Hey, Anonymous! Welcome in! How you doing? Let me get your Anonymous punch? Anonymous fandom character just redeemed daily punch. Gonna hand me your card really fast? Alright, got you punched. Welcome in. Glad to see you. We're doing first playthrough of Yakuza 0. I don't know what I expected, but Chad, this wasn't really it. <laughs> There's like a lot of story going on here. Oh god, put that down! Put that down! Ow! Gotta tap E rapidly to get up. All right, dude. I got it. You're got a couch. Cool. Ah, what do I have to do to dodge that? Do I have to get back when he swings the couch? <laughs> what the fuck do I do here? <laughs> this asshole. <laughs> I don't understand. He just keeps hitting me with a couch. Can I sideswipe it? No, nope. I'm just gonna die like this. Give me a fucker. God damn. What do I got in my inventory? I got, uh. Whatever the fuck that is. I got no equipment. Get my butt kicked.
Hmm. We might die to Couch Boy here. I can't figure out how to fucking dodge the couch. Gotta bait his couch attack. What the fuck is guard? I right, bait the couch. Oh no 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 fucking couch! Bro, the couch is OP, dude. What? I do the whole thing? Well, shit. How the fuck do I beat the guy on the couch? Oh, God, that table. God, now I'm doing worse. Um, there's gotta be, like, a better tactic. I got a triple takedown there. Ah, fuck you. God damn. <laughs> he was silly. Fuck back at. Now right, you're next. And you're next. And you. Nice blocks, nice blocks. Ow. That's right. I think I have a wooden katana. How do I switch modes again? Grab, dodge is E. Fighting styles is one, two, three, and four. Okay. So let's try brawler mode. Oh, I can actually pick up stuff in brawler mode. So how do I pick this up? Yo, I should've been playing in fucking brawler mode. No wonder I'm getting my ass kicked. Ow, fuck. I messed that up this time. <laughs> oh, god damn it. You might have, give me this back. Ow! I break it? Here, let me grab you. God damn. You won't let me grab him. Ooh, all right. Oh, fuck. All right. Uh, what can I do? What is this? A box of nails. All right, let's go hit this guy with a box of nails. That makes sense. Ow. Okay, I don't like brawler mode as much, dude. I can't fucking... I'm attacking so slow. Come here. Everyone's faster than me. Let me grab you. There you go. <laughs> Let me grab you, too. There we go. Do I switch modes again? There we go. Yeah, this mode's way cooler, dude. I mean, I'm for sure gonna die again here. Can I just get past you? No. What do I fucking do here, dude? Ooh, okay, maybe we gotta dodge that. Can I time the dodge perfectly? No. <laughs> no, I sure as fuck can't. God damn. Yep, that didn't work. I don't know what to do. Oh, sideways? Oh, okay. Ah. 
<laughs> the butt. <laughs> Gotta bait him a little bit. Good thing I have zero fucking health. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, never mind, we got him. Stop fucking with me. Alright, chat, I'm sure we'll be fine, you know? We only have, like, literally one fucking health. I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Ow. Maybe we should have played on easy. <laughs> Temporarily switch to easy. We'll do a hot, we'll do normal one more time. Then maybe. Then maybe. I am like really bad at fighting games, so I'm really bad at every game, but. Fighting games in particular, I'm pretty bad. <laughs> ah, damn, stop. Can you not? Oh, God, dog. Fuck it, dude. Alright, alright, alright. We need to get somewhere better. Okay. Take this guy out. Next to this guy. Ow, let's get it back up. Problem is, this guy is fucking like the boss. And so he's like fucking always hitting me in the back. Dude, I love how the chairs are just like dancing around the room. Alright, fuck that guy in particular. Oh, where are these other guys here? Just... So doing the stomp attack uses like my bar, looks like. Fuck that up this time, that's good. I wish there was like a target. You can like kind of hold space bar to face a certain way, but you can't really target. Right, we're doing a little better this time. At least we're getting to this part with more health. Go dead. Yeah, I think that's all of them. All right, we need to just focus on dodging here. Oops, that's not how I do it. Damn it! I don't like where dodge is on the controller. Son of a bitch. I see where like uh that guy earlier was saying maybe keyboard and mouse fucking suck for this game. I'm starting to agree. God damn it. Get out of here. The dodging doesn't work well on keyboard at all. Let's practice that maybe. I wonder how hard it would be to get the controller set up. We'll probably try that for next time. <laughs> oh, is he still around? Alright. Let's try not to fuck this up this time. Oh, 
Thank you, Phil. Thank you for the encouragement. I am just a simple doggo bad at game. Get up. Come here, guy. Look at purple, best color. I do like rush mode. Rush mode's fun. The, like, this mode I'm in now. Tell me that's fucking hell. How do I use items? How do I do anything in this game? Uh, fighting styles, movement, map, pause, lock on. I don't know how to use these items. I have an inventory right here. We need a little health boost. Alright. I need this. How do I use it? E. Okay, cool. E. Oh, nice. Alright, we're back to full health now. Good. This guy again. How many times do you go to behind me like an asshole? He really likes doing that. Ah, fuck you, dude. Get stomped. <laughs> yeah, he does need to try a new move, doesn't he? I mean, our, we're relying on the old kick people through a door move, too, so we're not super original. Can I, like, upgrade my shit? We've definitely got enough money at this point. Okay, what's over here? Heat wave one increases your heat wave rises when you attack an enemy. Okay, let's get this. Ability acquired. Reduces your heat wave time. Alright. Alright. Um, we could probably get some of these too. What's this? Oh, I literally spent all my money. These are like abilities. Weave away from an enemy during a rush combo? Oh, I should have got this. Fuck. That's okay. That's how you actually dodge. All right, we need to save it for that. At least that would work. It's true, Phil. At least kicking people through doors seems to work pretty well. Looks like that door is my only way through. I will say I do prefer kind of like this to like some of those like cutscenes in the story just dragging shit out quite a bit. Maybe it's because I have really bad ADD, but I start to like lose interest in what they're talking about. Uppies we go. Oh, we gotta go through here. Damn, blocked on the other side. Don't worry, I did too. Not totally because, oh, you were just rushing to the arcade, huh? <laughs> nice. I don't see any other way, so I guess I'll jump it. I mean, I don't think the story's bad by any means. I'm hoping it, like, gets better, though. Since I guess, like, Yakuza Zero is like a prequel, <laughs> they're all taking a piss. They probably have, like, some stuff they have to cover from a story perspective before they can get really into it. That's my assumption. What do they call it? Like exposition or whatever? Why am I not able to like use my special? Do I have to heat up more? Oh, that's why, yeah. I gotta get purple. Ah, fuck these guys. They're just trying to take a piss. Oh, this is also a remake, really? So it's like an older game then? So it's kind of got like some older game, you know, slowness to it, I'm guessing. I didn't realize this was a remake. Oh, he's back, dude. Oh, I hit the wrong button, fuck. 
I'm so bad with quick time events, dude. Oh my god, my reaction time is fucking dead in the water. Oh god, dude, you just fucking stabbed me in the chest. What the fuck? Fuck you. Fuck you. Get up, you bitch. Ah! Are you dead ass? Tell me I don't have to start the whole fucking thing over again. Okay, thank god. Who's got a checkpoint? Easy. Alright. Hi, Zoom. Jump it right. Alright, we gotta figure out if there's a way to dodge this stupid fucking sword. It's crazy there's like not a block. I don't think I can block. Who's back? Now let's see if I don't fuck this up this time. There we go. Try to stab me, knew it. Fucker. Give him a swirly! Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. That hurts so bad, dude. <laughs> Damn. That was pretty sick. There's some cool fight choreography. He's dead? Oh, there's not a chance he's dead, dude. He's gonna fucking throw an ash right the back of my head in the, within the next five minutes, guaranteed. Not a chance in hell. Finally, I think we made it. Good job, me. We did it. Only took me eight tries. Looks like you can actually back up that big mouth of yours. Not bad. Kazuma scouted himself a solid kid. If I'd met you back when I was boxing, I'd have offered to be your promoter. Is that like the, the thing of this series? Like, is Kiryu just like a real badass fighter? Is that his whole thing? Kazuya, talk before I break your jaw. Who's the one behind the empty lot hit? Why are you hiding him? Now don't get ahead of yourself, Junior. He's gonna make me fight him first for the information, I'm guessing? He's got some cool tats. I think those idiots downstairs might have given you the wrong idea. You don't screw with the Dojima family, Kiryu. Yeah, I'm gonna serve your ass myself, and I'm gonna enjoy it. Whatever, old man. Don't do a little speech. Let's go already. Yeah? Alright, fine. I'll come to you. 
Anonymous. Oh, the punch card live stream? You drew it? Hell yeah. Yo, post that shit in the Discord. I want to see it. Alright, chat. Boss fight time. At least this guy doesn't have a fucking knife. Stomp. Stomp, 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 stompies. Yeah, it's the Tome. Thank you for the punch. I'll punch your card right after not getting the shit kicked out of me. How come my, his shit knocks me down, dude? That's bullshit. Yeah, get fucked. I'm just gonna keep pressing him. Can't give him a chance. Ah, damn, he got me. Yeah, see, that sucks. He, like, barely hits me and I'm down. Damn, I was hoping I can get him up against a wall. Shut up. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Ooh, I'm the gingerbread man. Can't catch me. Ow. Fuck. It's the kick that takes me down. That's the one I should be dodging. Oh, fuck. I was spamming, so I missed the button. Alright, I got that one at least. Just tire him out by running around too. He's like an old guy, right? All right, real quick, I'm gonna get Satomi's punch. There you go. <laughs> you know, while we was down, we gotta get the punch in real quick. Oh God, he's too quick. Dodge, dodge, you buffoon. Bro, the dodge is so scuffed in this game. It fucking sucks. Like once you're once they start doing stuff, like there's no point. Like you can't even dodge. Like what's this? What's this? What's that even do? Like what's this? What is this? It dodges. It does not dodge, Phil. Okay, I kinda dodged there. Fuck. Allegedly. <laughs> Bro, I'm getting my ass kicked. Can I use items during fights? Yes. Heal me. I love God, heal me. God damn it. God damn it. Bro, I'm so fucking bad at this. Maybe I gotta use it to get behind him. Maybe that's a trick. There we go, there we go. Fuck. God damn it. Fucking dodge. There we go. Ow, fuck. Dodge, dodge. We're finally hitting him. Jesus hits on him. Fucking dodge, dodge, dodge. There we go. Stop him. Getting close. We're getting close, but we have like no health. Okay. Hey, let's go, dude. Let's go. Hell yeah, we did it. We're not that bad. Not that bad. I did have to use a heal. Kiri, you bastard. Oh, geez. The other two guys are here now. Brothers, give me a hand here. Take this little punk out. That's cheating. It is cheating. But you know I was hungry. Oh, the boss is here? We've been trying to meet him the whole time. Oh, 
boss. Dojima. Dojima, sir. Shohei Dojima, patriarch of the Dojima family. Subsidiary of the Tojo clan. Wasn't this a one on one thing, Kuze? I won't have Dojima lieutenants making goddamn asses of themselves. You're no Kazuma, I'll tell you that. But boss, it was the captain that took this kid in. This is him, Kazuma Kiryu. So, I hear you wasted a guy on a collections run. You sound like a fucking moron. I came to see you about that incident, sir. I swear to you that I did not kill that man. I did not. But I understand that even just being a suspect brings the family unwanted attention. So please. Expel me from the family. You think that's gonna fly, bitch? I'll take care of this one, boss. He won't make any more trouble for you. Oh, really? You're gonna murder a civilian? You decided on your own to let Kiryu out of the family, didn't you? That's not... Sir, I didn't! Lying to the boss? That's bad form, bro. Awano. I heard him loud and clear as well. Kiryu's already left the family, so I don't need the Patriarch's permission to kill him. Something to that effect. Wasn't it, Kuze? You rat bastards. Kuze. You plan on digging yourself even deeper? Oh shit. We're gonna need a pinky, my friend. That'll be one pinky. Oh shit. Now, brother. As head of the Keno clan, you know the drill. You love this accountability shit. Show us what kind of man you are. God damn it. You fucking watch close. Damn, is he gonna do it? Fuck! God damn. I'll be taking that. Thank you. Dinner later. I think we just made a mortal enemy for life here. Jesus. So is, uh, I don't know Yakuza lore, Chad, but, like, the pinky, is that, like, a three-strike thing? You got two pinkies, and if you don't have any left to give up, you're fucked. Lieutenant of the Dojima family gave you an answer, so I have to honor it. Kazuma Kiryu, as of today, you are expelled from the family. Dojima, sir. Oh, the third time? Let's just say it's not a finger. Oh, okay. <laughs> Loud and clear. Tell me, Kiryu. Why go through all this and get kicked out? In order to prove that me and Kazuma-san are innocent, sir. I'm 
I'm not the one who killed that man, and Kazuma-san has nothing to do with any of this. But the man I collected from died in that lot, and that's made trouble for the family. That's on me, so I'm leaving the family to take my responsibility for it. So please, sir, just leave Kazuma-san out of this. It's about time for dinner. Yes, sir. Dojima, sir. Just how do you intend to take responsibility for this now? I'll catch the one who really killed that guy. That'll prove me and Kazuma are innocent. I see. You don't need to bother. What? But the killer's still... The killer? Please sort that out. You're a civilian now. But I have to do this. To make things right. Make things right? You're a civilian, damn it. Get it through your head and stop whining. You admit you screwed up this time, right? Yes, sir. At the very least, if I hadn't done it at that spot, all this might have been avoided. So you asked to be expelled? Yes, sir. Well, relax. I'll make sure responsibility is taken. Sir? Your screw-up made it harder for us to get that land, Kiryu. And it was Kazuma that brought you in. Accountability falls on him. You were a Yakuza till a minute ago. You understand the logic, right? Sir! There's no coming back once you're out of the Yakuza. I suggest you find a nice little job and live a nice little life. So he's given us a chance to actually get out, which is kind of, I'm assuming, pretty rare. What now? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I don't know, we go work at McDonald's down the street. Also, don't worry, they remove one pinky joint at a time. Oh, okay, that makes sense, I guess, though. So there's plenty of pinky, you know. We're going to go play Daytona, dude. Where's the arcade? We should definitely check the arcade out when we can. This guy is so dramatic all the time. <laughs> Those people are like, what the fuck? <laughs> I guess we go become a boxer. We go find that fight club guy. Mysterious man, can you stand? You'll catch a cold if you stay down there. My name is Tachibana. Tachibana? Yes, Tachibana. I'm aware of your present circumstances. I've... I've been waiting to meet you. I've waited a long while, actually. Is this like a scout from a rival gang? Might I have a moment of your time? Kiryu. Kazuma-san. Yo, he looks like a villain. I get villain vibes from this man. Chapter 1, Bound by Oath, Completion Bonus, 1 million yen earned. Let's go. Um, earn through battle, 7 million, chapter completion, um, which is worth around, oh, I'm glad, see, I'm glad for us Americans, they did a nice yen translation here, chat, 8 million yen is worth about 10,000 boxes of condoms, all right, that's a, that's a freedom unit measurement if I've ever heard one, good to know. 
Climax Battles item open. I mean, that's all I want. I mean, who doesn't? I mean, maybe not in the south. I don't think they use condoms down there, but still. Tokyo Popari. Yes, who is this man? He's having me shower first. Oh, check it out. We got some ink, but it's not colored yet. He's like, fucking rinse yourself off, you stink. I assume you have not eaten. You're welcome to join me, if you like. Ooh. Sorry, but I don't have much of an appetite. I'm not big on taking food from strangers. You have my assurance that I am no threat to you, Kiryu-san. Please, make yourself at home. Where are my clothes? They were in need of cleaning, so I took the liberty. I will have them back to you momentarily. Tachibana-san, was it? That's correct. Please, be at ease. I am a civilian. I operate in real estate business in Komorochu. Yeah, he's absolutely ass-naked on that robe. And what does a real estate guy want with me? Are you certain you won't eat? This is it eat in front of me? That's kind of weird. Yeah, why does he have a glove and not use his hands? Is that a fake hand? My right hand is prosthetic. Please excuse my table manners. I lost it years ago, and now it aches in the cold months. A curious thing. I feel it throbbing down to my fingertips, even though it's gone. Painkillers have no effect. So I simply live with the pain. In time, grimacing became tiresome, so I stopped. I don't recall asking. Kiryu-san, are you familiar with the term... Nope, I can't even pronounce it. Pseudo. Pseudo. Pseudoanthium, a botany term referring to a cluster of mini flowers gathered to form a single large flower. You are intimately acquainted with one such flower as it happens. What are you talking about? The sunflower. Each large bloom is in fact a collection of tiny flowers, each petal its own identity. A fitting name for a place where children gather. Was it Kazuma-san who named the orphanage Sunflower? Who are you? You and Nishiki-san grew up as brothers at the Sunflower Orphanage. A young woman named Saomaru Yumi-san as well. You and Nishika regarded Kazuma as a father and following his footsteps to join the Yakuza. And now you find yourself framed for murder with Kazuma-san facing the risk of expulsion as a result. That's enough. You proved your point. It's obvious you're quite the network to dig all this up. What I don't get is why. What are you after? What is he after, chat? Great question. But, unfortunately, ads are going to run, and I don't want anyone to miss anything. So... Why don't we take this quick opportunity to uh, go stretch, grab something to drink, use the restroom. Uh, I'm going to take a quick BRB, and we'll find out exactly what the fuck this guy wants with me when I get back. Phil's guess? Love. I mean, yeah, maybe. He did set up a really nice date for us, and he's got me naked already. So if that's his goal, he's pretty good at it. But we'll find out in three minutes. So we'll see you soon. Be right back.
All right, chat, we're back. Are you guys ready to find out why? Why? What is he after? There's only one thing any real estate broker in this town is after. I want the empty lot. That place again. I would like you to join me, Kiryu-san. If the Dojima family lieutenants acquire the empty lot, Kazuma-san's expulsion is a certainty. But if I can beat them to it, I can protect Kazuma-san. And there is the matter of proving your innocence. The reach of my Kamarosho network is considerable. Join me and you will have the means to bring the culprit to light. Why go the effort of winning me over? What is it you're really after here? I'd like my clothes back. Tachibani-san. So you are rejecting my offer? It's too good. Too convenient. In this town, that's when you have to be careful. If you want to survive. I see. It would seem I was naive. Still, I have faith that you will reconsider in time. For now, I would ask that you only accept my card. Yeah, alright. I will have your clothes brought up immediately, if you'll excuse me. Everyone wants the empty lot. Is it just because it's worth so much money? Or is there more to it? I should let Nishiki know that I'm not dead yet. He's probably still at the Kazuma family office. Go to the Kazuma family office. You got it. There's a big purple building here. So, okay. Is this the arcade? Is purple arcade? Sega High Tech Land Theater. Bro, are these all games you can actually play? Why is my fucking camera fucked in this place? Space Harrier. Yo, they got crane games? Yo, my favorite. Move claw left. I'm the one with the top hat. Move claw back. Chat, this is my specialty right here. This is my entire lore is built around my ability to win this shit. Fuck. Oh, we're going. Let's just get this pink one out of the way. Come here, little lady. Let's go. We got a woo mama, dude. We ain't done yet. Now for a blue one. I think I figured out the controls. See, your boy Pamba is a claw game master. Get back here! That son of a slippery little bitch. Oh, yeah, we're playing more. He ain't getting away that easy. He ain't getting away that easy. He ain't getting away that easy. Come here! Come here! We got him by the throat now. Fuck! What do you mean? The prizes are perfect. They're cute little axolotl plushies. I must collect them all, dude. Alright, this one's going right up his butt. No!
Oh, it ain't over yet, buddy. You will be mine. All right, all right, we got him, we got him, we got him. Yeah. Look at that, chat. Look at that perfection. That's right. That's why you guys really watch. A Wukun. Chat, one day I'm going to do an actual claw game stream, and I'm going to give out all the prizes to chat. Alright. We need the purple dude now. Can't really tell the angle of this, but let's go for him in the back here. We're a little bit over. Don't know if we'll get him. Ah. We've, we've lined him up a little better, though. Right, I'm, I'm liking this. I'm liking this angle we got here. Come here, young gentleman. Refined gentleman! That's right, let's go. We got a whoop papa. Alright, we got one more turn, so we might as well win something else. Let's win another woo man. Woo man group instead of blue man group because he's blue. Get it? Get it, chat? Aren't I fucking funny? Laugh, chat. <laughs> we got him by the butt cheeks. We got him firmly by his fucking caked up ass. Damn it! Alright, alright. We got one of each on this machine. What about this machine here? Obviously, we need to win some of these, these bros. Chad, did you know birds aren't real? Alright. Caked up pink bird. Let's go. Get him right in the cake. Get him right in the cake. No! Right, let's go for the yellow one. We need to clear some we need to clear some out. There's too many caked up birds. Alright. Alright, alright. Scoop them. Scoop them. Good, good. Now grasp him gently. Firmly cup him. There we go. Let's go. Was that Boonchan? Boonchan the Java Sparrow? Let's go. Alright, can we sneak the pink one out of the mess he's in here? This is gonna be rough. This is a this is a risky this is a risky strategy. It did not pay off. Fuck. Alright. Alright. We gotta clear out some of the other sparrows. This guy's gotta go. Bruh, I need to ask you to leave. Damn. Get out of the way. Alright, we might have we might have made enough room there. Alright, let's just let's just get him out of here. Let's snipe him. Take the shot. Take the shot. Fuck. Bro, they're really protecting the pink guy. Alright, let's take out this brother. Hey, brother. How would you get out of the way? Oh, fuck that other dude. Yeah, fucking smash their heads. Alright, we just gotta make, we just gotta clear him out, you know? Alright, now we gotta take this guy out of the picture. Gotta get him out of the picture once and for all. Yeah, push him over. Push him over. Alright. Now it's your turn. Take the shot. Target acquired. Yeah, get him by the neck. Fuck. They're so rotund. Chad, they're so rotund. Hmm. Maybe we get this one out of the way? And then we go for the back pick one. Maybe that's the strategy, huh?
fucker. Oh, we're getting the pink. Don't you worry about that, chat. I won't let you down. It's part of the long game. It's all part of the long game here, chat. This is like a game of chess. See? See? Now we've got him right where we want him. We've got we got the son of a bitch right where we want him, chat. This is it. This is it. Fuck that bird in particular. All right, all right, all right. That's fine. That's fine. That's perfect. You know what? That's perfect. Now we can get him right around the waist. We can really hug his hips. Really give him the old hip hug here. Yeah, there we go. Make sure you, make sure you firmly one hand on each caked up cheek. There we go. There we go. We got another Java Sparrow. All right, all right, all right. Now's the time. Now's the moment. We're going for the pink. We might need to. We might need to be a more, a little more aggressive. We gotta get them hands in there. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, that one was rigged. You know how they rig these machines sometimes? You gotta, like, do so many? That was a rigged... That was a rigged run. Alright, we're gonna try to, like, get him out of the way here. Okay, I like that. I like that. I love that for us. Oh, no, they... They... Well, they're not rigged in Japan, but they have, like, a... They have limiters set on where, you like, if you play X amount of times, they'll, like, let you in. All right, there it is. There it is. Fuck, all we do is put it back up. You know what? That's, that's all part of the plan, Chad. That's part of the plan. We don't want to win... We don't want to win the pink one too easily, you know? We don't want him to be, like, laying down. We want it to be an earned victory. All right, let's get this Java bitch out of the way. All right, we kind of made it worse. We might have made it a little worse. All right, I think this is the this is the moment. This is the moment. It was not the moment. The moment was there, but it was gone. Don't worry, don't worry. We're going to get Job out of the way here. Job is primed now. He's fucking cocked and ready. Son of a bitch. You know what? You know what? That's fine. That's fine. We're just building the suspense. A little suspense building. A little world building, you know? We need to know these birds' motivations. Oop, 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 oop! Holy shit. Now we got him. Got him right where we want him. Got this son of a bitch right where we want him. Hey, oh, fuck. It's too slippery. He's greased up. We're gonna pull this one up. It's gonna be called Greased Up Sparrow, and you're not gonna. You're, then you're gonna be like, oh, okay, it was just greased up. That's why. Look at that. Look how greased he is. Chat, is it just me? Or is the one in the back to the right of of this pink one? Is this one look chonky to you? Is this one more chonky? This one here? Is he chonked up? Is he chonky boy? Fuck. He's bigger, right? It's not just me. I wonder if he's worth more because he's chonked up. I gotta have a chonky one. 
All right, we got him right in the tummy. Don't fall, don't fall. Come on. Don't fall. Good, we got Chonky Boy. Is he different? Yo, it's a Jumbo. I was right. All right, all right, we got the Jumbo. Now for the pink. Oop, oop, oop. Just lay right in the claw for me. Oh, God. It's all right. It's all right. Everything according to plan. All right, all right, all right. You son of a bitch. Look at you on your back. You whore. All right, I'll hydrate. I'll hydrate while we catch this bird. Son of a bitch. HD, it welcome in. Daily punch. Let me get your punch for you, HD. Yo, I love that you made that in a mo, HD. It's so good. All right, you fucking bird. It's like so close to the front of the glass now, it's hard to get like a good angle on it. We kind of need to reposition it a bit. You know, that might be good. That might be good for us. I like the angle it's on. I like the vibe I'm getting for the angle here. Okay, it's a good vibe. I really need to give it a good pinch. Give it a little pinchy. Whoop, I love this. I love this for us, chat. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Alright, Haruka, this one's for you. You get the pink one. Oh, we got we have a couple turns left, so why not? Why not? Let's try to get the other pink one. Hmm. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, nope. All we do is tip it over. Oh, we got one more try. With our last try, let's try to get that other chonky boy in the back. I kind of want to see how this angle works. So it's kind of hard to hit these when they're in the corners. The camera angle is a little weird. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this for us at all. Nope. Okay, well, we got everything out of that. these two machines. So I'm happy. My entire goal with this game from now on is to collect plushies. I don't give a shit about anything else. Are there any more plushie machines in here? No more plushie machines? The fuck? Can you actually play Mahjong? How sick would that be? What's this one? What games can you play? It looks like you can play the crane game. And it looks like you can play whatever this is. Space Harrier? I don't want to play Space Harrier. I don't want to play any old arcade games, chat. That's a fucking rabbit hole. What up, dude? Hello! Welcome to the Sega Arcade. What can I do for you? Change UFO catcher prizes. Of course. Please give me just a minute. Oh, fuck yeah. We can reset them? Okay, this game's badass. What do we got now? Okay, those are the same fucking birds. What's over here, though? Alright, chat. Who wants what? Who wants one of these screaming lizards? Who wants one of these boys? Oh, we almost got two! Alright, boys. Screaming lizard? Who wants it? A frilled neck lizard. That was close enough. Okay. 
Alright, we gotta start we gotta start getting this off the blue one, right? We need the blue thing. Who wants yellow dress lady? Who wants one of these things? Oh shit. Oh shit. Knocked it over. They scare you? Why? The lizards? They do look like they're gonna just, like spit acid on you, dude. Alright, Hark, it's all yours. Come here, blue boy. Come here, blue friend. No! We were so close. I'm coming for you, blue. You're my boy, blue! Oh no! We're fucking making a mess. Oh, we got my little fucking hat. We got my little hat. Fuck you. Come on home to me. Classic hat strategy for Kyunbo. Alright, see if we can get one of these uh, yellow boys. The yellow femboy here. Apparently I got a lizard though. Why not? We hooked a lizard, dude. Alright, Hark, I got you another lizard. Now you have a friend. Alright, who wants this thing? Who wants this green thing? Easy catch, by the way. Look at how. Look at the skill. Look at the finesse, chat. All right, Harka. I'm pretty sure it's all yours. Kyan Chan. All right, uh, sir. I believe your plushies need to get changed. Of course. Of course. Okay. I went from being pretty on the fence about this game to this is my new favorite game. Oh, we already have the Exodals. We don't have these things, though. What's this? Oh, look at the little snakes in the back. Look at the little snakes. Alright, we got a strategy here. We want to be a little over so we can kind of scoop under it. Did we get it? I think we got it. Hell yeah, let's go. Anyone want whatever the fuck this is? An Opa Opa figure. There's an Opa Opa finger, and we got two different color snakes we're going to have to get in the back here. Sort of the yellow boy. Oh, they're squirrels! They're like Sheriff Squirrels! All right, Phil, you got the Opa Opa. Come on. Don't drop it. Don't you drop that shit. Let's go! Who wants Yellow Squirrel? Who wants Chestnut the Squirrel in blue? All right, can I go three for three, dude? Am I goaded as hell? Alright, time for Pink Squirrel. Oh, the angle. Wait! Wait! We got him by the foot! Oh, we got him! It fell just in time! You want the pink one? Alright, Hark, you're gonna chest out the squirrel in red. That's apparently what they call it. <laughs> Hell yeah, three for three, chat. Let's go. Are there any different axolotls in there? No, same ones. All right. Sir, I believe you need to redo your UFO okay. catchers. Sir, how long do you plan on being here? Uh, how long are you open? Please give me just a minute. Thank you for waiting. Yo, this is some top tier fucking gameplay. Fucking, they're all axolotls. What are we doing? Sir, this is some bullshit. I already have all those. Okay. 
All right, what do we got? What do we got? I already have. Sir, I have all these already. Haru Kakigami, I just cheered okay. one bit. Thanks, Pommy. Oh, no problem, Arka. I hope I can get, like, a room in this game where I can display them all. We have those. Sir! I need I different plushies. Stop fucking around with me, dude. There we go. What's this? What are those things? Hmm. Let's go. We got this. I have no idea what this is. Ooh. Ooh, I can tell already he's going to be a little bitch. Maybe if I get him right in between the legs, you know? Really fork it right in between his legs. Yeah, grab some firmly... One hand on the balls, one hand in the butt crack. It's a strategy here. God, that little that little fucking spaceship's really fucking me. I need to go away. Alright, finally a, a true challenge has approached. Also, what the fuck is that? Is it like a little Dreamcast? Is it a Sega Genesis? It looks like a Sega Genesis with arms and legs. Come on, you son of a bitch. Fuck. It's a Mega Drive? Yeah, it looks like a console. Oh, he says 16-bit on it. Come on. Get it by the foot. We hooked it. Yeah, let's go. 16 bit. Mega Drive stuffed toy. All right, all right. We got one more. Might as well go for it. Let's try to get this one we were fucking with earlier. This asshole. Some redemption. I just feel like that other toy is like too close to it. Yeah, see how it keeps fucking me up. All right, all right, we got a new one. That's good. I don't want the Mega Drive. Plushy. Sir, I need you to reset, and don't fuck with me again, all right? Give me new shit. Thank you for waiting. You're welcome. Thank you for nothing. Set it right, dude. Yes, sir, sir. All right, I'm giving this man three more chances. Bruh. Wait, what's that? What's that? What's this refined gentleman? We don't like our angle. Yeah, that was a bad angle. Alright, Haruka, we're winning it for you. It sucks it's like super far up against a wall. It's gonna be tough to get a good angle on. We got this beak. But we pulled it away from the wall a little bit. That's good. Oh. 
Oh, we got it by the throat. Oh! Damn, that was close. That was better. That was better. Alright, we're making some progress. We at least have it in a more acceptable spot. I grab it by its big fat head. Oh! Damn. Well, we turned it a little bit. That could be good. That might be good. Son of a bitch. Now he's humping the shit out of the Mega Drive. Horny little fuck. Alright. Damn it, we almost had him by the grippers. Look at him. Bro, they're in the back like making out. Sir, this is a PG stream. You need to come with me. Damn it. Bro, we're just like fucking putting him in a bad spot. Alright, I'm gonna try to get him out of here. Grab him by the feet. Grab him by the feet. Son of a bitch. Now he's upside down! These asshole Mega Drives are gonna be in the way now. I knew it. This is bad. We're in a bad spot. We're gonna have to deal with these Mega Drives now. We've got ourselves into one hell of a situation here. How'd this happen? I got all the way, Mega Drive. Aw, oh, shit. Aw, oh, shit. Alright, it's gonna be desperate measures here, chat. I'm gonna try to grab this Mega Drive by the foot. Son of a bitch. He's so far up against the wall. So the crane only goes like this far back and then just auto drops. Alright, come on, come on. At least move the Mega Drive over a bit. Okay? Are we cooking? We got him by the hand? Let's go! Karkapa. All you, Harka. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, we give him three... Re if he fucks up three times in a row, we leave. That's the rule. If I have three resets with nothing good, we, we peace out. You continue. I don't even remember what was going on in the store anymore. Uh, that's all squirrels. Alright, strike one. That's one pinky, sir. One pinky for you. You want the other pinky? You want to give me some good prizes? Alright, what we got? So I do believe that's two pinkies. So they try to keep since it's night was it 1988? Do they try to keep it all uh, period correct? Is that what you're saying, Phil? Okay, I see. So that's why I don't recognize any of this shit. Oh, that's strike three. Sorry, chat. Sorry, Harka.
each Yakuza game in its own time period. What's the next one you play after this? Or do I just say fuck it and play like seven? Isn't seven the new one? What is here? Okay, so that purple... Does that mean there's another arcade across the street? Is that what this purple is? I don't know why. So it's like every place has its own entrance, right? Or is this a fucking movie theater? It's a bowling alley? What the fuck? Hello, how may I help you? Uh, play solo. I'll play alone. That'll be 500 yen, please. You got it. Got it. How many times frames would you like to play? All 10 frames. 10. Alright, how do we bowl? Oh, God. E is direction and power. That adjusts the fucking spin in the ball. Oh, no. What do I get myself into here? Select the ball. Okay. Selecting ball, you can choose where to stand. E to determine the direction. E to adjust the power. And A, D, or that before releasing for spin. Okay. I think I got it. I didn't know bowling was popular in Japan, chat. How do you even bowl? Yo, look at that. Let's go. Let's fucking go. We're goaded. Hmm. Oh, close, close. Killing it. Has anyone bowled a perfect 300 on this? I'm sure they have. Hmm. Oh man, fucking robbed. Robbed. Oh, fuck. Hmm. 
Oh, too much spend, too much spend! Fuck! Sheesh. Alright, we need a strike, you know? If you get a strike, it's just easier. Ooh, I don't like that. That wasn't a good idea. <laughs> I've had better ideas in my life. That wasn't one of them. I think this line, way over. Super high power. And all but one spin here. Damn, I should have gotten the extra spin. Fuck, what was I thinking? The fur in my brain got in the way. Alright, chat, we gotta redeem ourselves. I need one strike. I need at least one strike. If I can get one strike, I'll be happy. Yo, let's go. There it is. Let's fucking go. It's your boy. Here you here. Pro bowler. There we go. Now we're getting it. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad and I should feel bad, chat. Maybe one spin? Two spin, maybe? No, one, oh. one. I backed it off. Should have been two? Should have been two. Fuck! I fucking second guessed it. Classic, classic Palm L there, dude. You know, we broke 100 points. I'm happy with that. Okay, there we go. Yes. Alright, we're just gonna finish the rest of the game off with all strike. Ooh. I feel good about this one. Huh. Okay, well, so much for feeling good. I feel like I feel like trash. I'm gonna go throw mm. myself in the gutter. Put a light spin on this one. There we go. Wait, we cleaned up the spare. I'll take it. Ooh, not a power, not a power. Oh, you know, we'll take it, we'll take it. Oh, it's a tenth frame. We gotta get all three, dude. We gotta get all three strikes for max points. There we go. Yes. Now we're cooking. We're cooking, chat. Let him cook. Huh. Oh, fuck you. The last fucking thing. One pin. Wait, wait. It's wobbly? Ah, oh, nope. Damn. 176. You know, that's a respectable score, I think. We take those. Have a nice day. Alright. Yo, that was pretty cool. Bowling alley. Is there, like, a map button, chat? Is there, like, a button to view my map? No, where's controls? Uh, movement map is M. I guess that that checks out. So theater square alley. Oh, what the fuck?
So there's another there's another place up here. So there's a lot of purple places. Yeah, fuck you guy. It's up here. Out of my way. Out of my way. Alright, what's this place? The batting center, huh? Is this like baseball? Yo, I'm world renowned for how good I am at sports ball chat. Getting a high score can win cool prizes. Do you want to see what prizes we have? I do. A steel of shin guards, a metal bat. Uh, okay. How do I play? No, I just want to play. Well, this shit over here. All out of order. Um, check. Super Gold Rush course. Oh my god, you need 5 million yen to play that? What the fuck? Not that kind of money. Where's the newbie course? Beginner course. Yeah, here we go. That's more my speed. Let's do this. Cut to <laughs> How do I hit it? Oh. There we go. What do you mean? How did I fuck that up? I don't even know. I don't really know the rules of baseball. All right, how do how do I do this? What the fuck? It's just E to swing, right? Do I have to aim for this? I see. Oops. Fuck. <laughs> Yo, we got one home run, dude. We got one home run. That's basically winning for me, dude. We actually hit the goddamn ball. It might be easier to aim for this one. I'm able to see the fucking ball better. There we go. All right. Let's go. Fuck me. I suck. I have, I'm worthless. We got three points, six balls, new record. How many points is that? Three points? Phil, are you talking sh some fucking crazy language I've never heard of? What? I got three points. What does that get me? God damn it. I need 32? You're out of your goddamn mind. Oh, sorry. My keyboard was set. <laughs> oh, no problem, man. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Yo, the old batting center, huh? The old batting center. How oh, goaded. I don't know, wait, lady. We're saving. Yes. 
Well, you know, this has been a fucking experience. Chat. This has been an experience. But I think with fucking around with the crane games and stuff, we're probably going to end here. That way, when we start up next time, we can get back to the story. I think that's a good stopping point. Oh, apparently this guy wants to fuck with me first, so... Alright, I'm going to beat this guy's ass first. Then we're going to end. Hell of that. We'll go out with a, a show. Oh, God. Apparently, I'm not allowed to just end yet. They were like, no, you're not ending stream. Did you guys send them chat? Was that you? Yeah, don't do it again. All right, let's try this one more time. Let's try that one more time. All right, sweet. Thank you guys for watching on YouTube. I'm going to end the recording now. Part two will be out in a week from now, so we'll stick to the schedule. This is our our Friday night stream, but you guys will see this uh, Saturday afternoon. So expect Yakuza every Saturday for the foreseeable future. And tomorrow is uh, our indie night, and we'll be back to Forager. So part four of Forager will start tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time, YouTube. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.